out loud without giggling. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, also, the way th- just before we even get started, uh, the way these like lettering is this lettering is done, especially with like the thing over the top left, like the little. I don't know, the little sticker that's like, buy now, or subscribe for cheaper, or whatever it is, makes it look like, at a distance, if you squint, like, it looks like it says, Jame Pro, which would be like, <laughs> maybe if you wanted to be the master of a singular James. <laughs> Everyone gets a James! Just one Jame. <laughs> I put my James on a leash. Oh, Maintaining the streak. Yo, probate, thank you for the resub. 17 months, fuck. Time ain't real. Alright, yeah. so... Um, now that we've got the swords on screen, are you ready to analyze some tips? <laughs> I have a degree in this. I have a literal, it's on the fucking wall. I'm I literally have go. a degree on these tips. Good. We yo, have yo, yo, tips, tactics, and passwords. You're getting a triple deal here. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> All right. So let's watch this shit in three, two, one, kick it. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's wow. a game endings? I don't want that. <laughs> that is spoilers. Don't even fucking buy it. Oh, <laughs> shit. You, you buy games to play them, you stupid dumbass. Hey, I'm down here. Whoa! Holy shit! Hey, it's me, Harry's Potter. From the book Harry's Potter, I'm talking like in a painting, man. Do you know how powerful a wizard you have to be to fucking trap someone in a painting? How the, what the fuck, Game Pro? <laughs> Did Game Pro, like, have wizards on tap? Was that a thing they needed? I don't know, I guess! Green screening wasn't invented until 2002. Turn these up a little more. Football! Sports! You have three <laughs> terrible choices! <laughs> I want none of these! A wizard prevent presents you with a riddle and a curse! Would you like Y, B, or A? <laughs> Which of these is the correct throw, adventurer? If you go for the full blitz, you lose 20 attack points. Fucking hate dungeon dice monsters. Fucking classic Fuck, password. <laughs> Fuck, I knew people cheated in baseball. I mean, <laughs> football! <laughs> All sports are the same, I don't know anything. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, fine. Just American baseball is It's awesome. okay, look, you're look. a gaming tips pro. You're not a... <laughs> Sports pro. All right, here it is Look, again. football, it's soccer ball, B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-
Not actually based off of real lemmings. I don't believe you. Also, yeah, voice of dogs, right? These games, these games get fucking hard. These games get mean. Like they expect you to get. Yeah, he just said. He just said you get some. Put in this cheat code for some mega hard levels. You you didn't come here to have fun. You came here to suffer, and we're gonna get you to that pain as fast as possible. I am here to fuck up and kill lemmings. I want I want a lemming to punch me in the balls. And I am all out. I am all out of lemmings. All you need to do is enter PVN. R C M V. These aren't these aren't ways these aren't tricks. You're just telling us how to not play lemmings. <laughs> We're getting close. Here's level four. Enter eight Z S Q Q N. Getting close. Just post it loose. Well, if you're anything like me when I was younger, cheat codes that got you to the later end of the stage was more like a cheat code to let you see the first two rooms because you couldn't get there legitimately. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I can't get here. I can't get here legitimately. I'm these first Bro, two. Rooms, no, man. Here no. I go. Hey, hey, you guys like driving? I'm here driving with my invisible steering wheel. It's all. It's very big now. How oh. is he doing that? Wow, this is incredible. It's almost like he's in sync with anything. Hey, all right, what a <laughs> <realist. We gotta laughs> Jesus Christ! Did you see that power move? The Game Pro Password Squad has knocked down a password that'll sing The Game Pro the Password the Squad. Fuck. Man, if my username wasn't already Check Nintendo Fun Club on 360, man, first, Game Pro Password Squad would be pretty up there. <laughs> I've heard uh, I've heard some rumors about the Game Pro Password Squad. They're not they're real. <laughs> You, are ready to hit uh, you the don't, road don't, totally don't make fun of them. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not anger <laughs> the Game Pro Password Squad. They are considerably more powerful than you know. They are very real. Squad is putting it gently. It's a platoon. <laughs> it's really more of a Game Pro Password paramilitary unit. <laughs> Oh hey, I Hi, also hey. like going on. What's up? Oh my god, you're gonna do this the entire video? I fucking please, 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 please. Speed him up for your Super Nintendo. Who is this invasive man? I cannot escape from. Who is this for? Yo, I love his jean shorts with the roll up, though. Can we talk about the jean shorts with the roll up? It's okay. He just fucking ran away. Yeah, I really like that they just keep inserting this kid. Like, we could probably play a game of whenever, like, they put a screenshot of a new game up, like, pause and guess, like, where's he gonna come out of? <laughs> like, see if you can get it right. First, get into the password screen. God, there's a, there's a lot of passwords on these, huh? L-H, little D. I guess it is and passwords. Did you just say little D? <laughs> I like that password screen gave you enough room for a whole paragraph and the password was six characters long. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah! Oh, cheers! Oh, oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I was joking about the wizard thing, but this might be the most powerful man in time. Oh, that was his true form. Holy shit, I didn't think I was gonna be fucking laughing about the immortal today. Like, and I do think about the, I do think about the immortal and how funny it is pretty, pretty often. Like, you know, I'm just expecting a sandworm to just shoot up and kick his ass, but like, <laughs> man. That's E zero. One one F. Oh, I can't read. Zero one seven eight C one. This fool. This is the best idea I've ever had. This is the sit. We found it. In the immortal. How about some run and gun action? Well, I know a place better to find it than in Rolling Thunder two. What game is this? I can't fucking remember what the fuck Rolling Thunder is. Where is he gonna come from? Also, oh shit, yeah. Well, we're not in game yet. He doesn't pop on title screens. Maybe he comes out of a gun. Ooh, that would be dope. Oh. Okay, okay. Show yourself. No, this is the. This is just the passwords. He doesn't. He shows up when he's gonna talk shop about his favorite. His favorite James. The, the screen. The the screen is not shown. Enter the password until this point. So it's like, oh shit, we probably should have told you that part. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault for thinking I can protect James. He's a very powerful wizard. I'm sorry, James. Sorry. 
Yeah, sorry. Fuck, he's gonna kill me later. Hey, check this. If Is this game real? Round 11 of the second quest, get ready for a yeah. He's not in it, so probably not. Let's run those passwords by you one more time. To go to round <laughs> 11 of the first quest. This feels like, like, it looks like a weird, like, <laughs> elevator action variant that I can't quite figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Is she wearing a tube top or, like, like, it looks like her arm is moving independent of her torso when she comes out and goes, Jesus Christ, whoa! Hey, everybody, sports! What's up? It's me, Chet Sportsman, here with Flappy Gum Mouthman over on the left here. My favorite sports news is when both anchors are talking at the same time. <laughs> the crosstalk just, the crosstalk just makes it fucking unbearable. <laughs> I actually like to turn on four different tennis broadcasts at the same time and uh, just get get the full experience. Q U S as your password. I just had a request. I just had a really bad premonition. What is that? One you might say. Now, what if this is like a, a cipher and this is actually like wizarding 101 and you just have to like pronounce these phonetically and these are like the runes the spells and we could just turn into fucking powerful dunk wizards or something. Well then I guess 167 of my smartest viewers are going to be wizards at the end of this day is what that's gonna be. So we'll go draw magic circles on ley lines and, and try uttering some of these. Dog, I've already been blessed by witches, like a coven of witches in the Illuminati. Like I'm good. Yeah, no, I already have witch blood like blessing me. So this is whatever. For me, I mean, you might want to be careful with some of these incantations. Now go have a ball. A round ball. One just mix it so whenever you touch something you love, it turns into nothing but bee balls. <laughs> Ah, uh, the bee vultures. You, you try to hold your child, just turns into, into Michael Jordan. And then into basketballs. Wait, I'm... Who are you? Who's Jamie Singer? Do I know you? What? Man, I should go fuck with a game shark, huh? That shit rules. Or I'm sorry, game genie. Because this is that old shit. This was before they banned magic in video games. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, she's pretty tall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'd like to climb that mountain and have shade in the summer. What's going on, everybody? Let's talk about ATV racing. <laughs> God, the fucking roll up on the end of the shorts is going to be the death of me. Like that and the socks out of the fucking white tennies. The, the fashion is just so good. I angered, or is he like I angered the game genie and this is my fate. Oh, you think he's like trapped in here? I thought we established that. Is that what happens? To, if you fuck with the game genie, do you get trapped in every game? Or are you just in every game because if they use the game genie, you then appear in the game? He is either a prisoner of this realm or he is the master of this realm and he will entrap our souls in it too. I can't tell which. Either way, I'm fine, honestly. At least if you establish that, you're safe if you play Rolling Thunder too. You can't get jammed into those. Oh shit. This game. And set off the rest Big of the punch man. From the evil one and all the other nasty what is falling? So, is this cute? Something to take your credits? <laughs> Most likely. Someone playing, is someone playing Hubert above him? To level eight. No, no one is playing Hubert anywhere near here. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. We don't. We don't play Hubert here. Not after. Not after the incident. <laughs> And Wait, what game is this? All the splatter, happy splatter House 2? Oh, okay, we're still on that. This looks weird. Here's the password one more time. <laughs> Great. In the password screen, What's with this generosity? You weren't doing this before. What the fuck is that? Hey, that's all there is to it, but to come out swinging. Splatterhouse is one of those games that doesn't play super great, but the aesthetic's really fun, and it, they don't do it super often in this way, like where it's like you're the big scary man going and punching bigger, scarier flesh monsters. 
<laughs> this is a no Qbert zone. We don't the find Qbert slide. after the Big Bert incident. <laughs> thank you, thank you, the Adamant Arch for the resub. And the fuck. Hey, Krusty, just sliding into your DMs. <laughs> fuck. Yo, what's up, Krusty? You won't pass one. <laughs> Looks like where you think you're going, you little fucking clown. Oh God, wait, wait, we're gonna hear the we're gonna hear the computer try to do the password reading. Let's see. Because I think Ed Cavale yelled a little bit. Or it's just going to say the letters. Hmm. Whoop! <laughs> E-D-K-V-E-I-I-A-L-L-D-L. Is this Enoch here? It just read the letters. Am I ascending? Thank you, Juno Breaker. Who happens to be the founder of Bart's hometown? Well, that's it. You're in the level five and on your way to the final finish in this game of Mouse Madness. Do you think Simpsons would ever get a game that's Here's as good that as DBFZ is for DBFZ? Like, what kind of game Check would that be, do you that's think? Uh, uh, just an Arc System Works Simpsons game? Is that what you're telling me? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, do you think, like, you know how DBFZ, like, fucking owns, and, like, every Dragon Ball game before that fucking blew? Um, or, like, was okay? Uh, what if Simpsons got one of those? Simpsons Hit and Run is nowhere near as good as you remember. Please do not go back and play it at any time. Because <laughs> it don't, it aged horribly. You have to use face buttons for your fucking accelerator. BFC is cool because, like, Goku fighting people is rad. Simpsons is funny, but they're never gonna write good jokes without referencing the show. I'm thinking about this too seriously. I just want to see an Arc System Works Simpsons fighting game, like, animated the same way. That would be- that would I mean, be that would kick ass, yeah. They could just set the shaders to Simpsons. I mean, for what it's worth, I don't really want to see Simpsons anything right now, because Simpsons kind of fucking blows at this time. Yes. But... Ooh, good reading. Thank you, Ashen. Set, set phasers to Simpsons. <laughs> Yo, punch. Punch. Here goes. Punch again. Oh, it's kind of cool they have the three in the rotates. It's cute. Yes. Whoa. Also, thank you for clipping the power slide, Doc Magnificent. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. We right, need to review that footage Frank later. Go. This game looks like shit. <laughs> By the way, in case anyone was wondering. My client looks garbage, but I like its aesthetic. <laughs> Please help, my laptop speakers have been devoured by horrors after the reading of the incantation you know that by the resub message. On the video no. <laughs> that doesn't begin with a solid talent for working Whoa! Work. Hey, here, I'm in the controller zone! So, you can't you escape! Your do the talking as you flip through a couple of pages of controller tips. Check this out! Oh, fuck. I can't wait for- <laughs> Nice! <laughs> I love video games! What the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, just checking out some ladies again. Oh please tell me they're gonna do how to do a mirror match code as like a big deal. I'm turning this all the way up. It's super is. <laughs> oh man, are we watching feel concentrated nineties? Hell yeah. It's true, and thank you, Kel, for the reason. Wasn't that, like, literally a selling point on the arcade cabinet? Uh, yes. I think so. Yes, and then the later versions of the game also. Like, remember, Street Fighter 2, like, Street Fighter 1 was not a good fighting game, and Street Fighter 2 was, like, it was getting there, but it was missing a lot of stuff that we consider pretty basic now. Um, and that's what the re-releases originally were for, were kind of the little, like, oh shit, we made some goof-em-ups, and, uh, I mean, they worked well. Street Fighter 2 Turbo is fun as fuck. <laughs> it's a fun fucking game. Now, quickly press down, button R, up, button L, button Y, and button B. I appreciate these handsome punching men. And see the title screen turn blue. Hey, you're all set to determine who is true. Uh, Blanca? Um, have you seen the, uh, good story mode, uh, Blanca from Street Fighter V? Oh my god. No, I have What the fuck is that? Hey, can someone green screen me next to some titty? It's been a minute since I've been green screened near a titty. 
And also, make me a ghost. We got a trick that lets you I hate this trickster demon in this video. It's what it is, pretty right much. Yeah, there's like a shitty Loki. Or, you know what? No, no, no. He's more like, um... Oh, what's the dipshit in Star Trek who, like, just appears in random places and has, like, omniscient power? Uh, Q. He's kind of like Q. Like, he just appears and it's like, hello! <laughs> it's me! I'm here to talk! You've done it! Oh, hey, how's it going, Jordy? Just kidding, it's Q! <laughs> like, <laughs> hello, hello, Picard, having difficulty with Krusty's fun house? <laughs> you can skip anywhere you like, including straight to MC Mayhem. <laughs> Gaming Q. Let's see that one more what time. the fuck? Begin by entering the options mode. Now press right, right. Up, down, it's... button R, and button Okay, L. those are those are good. I, I thought he had like two robot hey, legs and his like Bingo, toes can move independently of his legs. Now, but they're just turrets. No, yeah. Are you not familiar with Smash TV? You're on your no. Way. This oh, game starts man. out as like a pretty fun co-op game, and then quickly you're like, oh right, this, this is like an arcade <laughs> concept, so it gets wildly unfair. <laughs> it gets like impossible towards the end. It's freezing in here. Oh, then Master roll down your shorts, warpath, jackass. <laughs> How about you roll up your socks and roll down your shorts? Meet him in the middle, motherfucker. <laughs> Craft yourself a pair of pants. Disappears into the wild. It's up to Higgins to bring back the babe. So. Got him waiting for that game to unpause and that boomerang to just snap his neck. I know he said bring back the vape. I thought he said bring back the vape for a second. <laughs> Bring back the babes. I haven't seen a good Turn custom bathing ape sneaker in a good couple years. Bring time. those back. Now, hold down button L, <laughs> the what? And are, are you not familiar with that? No, there's a shoe line called bathing apes or bathing apes, and it was. Yes, they do like a lot of really cool superhero sneakers, and they're ridiculously expensive. And you can learn about them in the Soldier Boy song, "Bapes," I believe is what it was, where he talks about like I got my bathing, I, I got my bathing, and what? I got my it's really good, is what I'm saying. Like, go look it up. It's real. I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. Bapes are real. Like, <laughs> that's a real thing. I, mean, I didn't believe truck nights were real at first, but I got me some bathing apes. Yeah. It put me in this castle, but no prison can contain me. First, choose a conquest game and click on the pause icon. Populous. Move the cursor to the world map. Then hold the button. That was was this a Molyneux project? Okay, release those. I think so, because he made Goddess later. No, because yeah, this was black and white before it was black and white. Holding down button. Populous was a Molyneux project before he like, you know. And select. Started doing all the stuff. <laughs> started started being a, a big idiot. And click on Armageddon. A goddess is a good game. Populous was now, weird. Uh, like, I only played it on Super Nintendo, so I have a feeling I did Inside not get the, the optimal <laughs> Populous experience. And B to select any level in the game. I'm not sure there is one. Because... Like, this one just has a constant heartbeat going. That's kind of creepy, that's honestly. So why don't we just yeah, that's cool. Oh, shit, I love Kirby's Avalanche. First, choose a conquest game and ah, shit. The You're getting all my names wrong today. Now move the cursor you just, you just the missed the I called it. I, I meant Dream Course. Then Jeez. You meant golf. And press a. <laughs> the most honorable <laughs> sport known to man. Yeah, Kirby Golf. Next, while holding down I would like to do two-player co-op Kirby Golf races. B but it's unfortunately there's not a good racing mode in that game. I would like a racing mode in that. Like, fuck how many swings you take, just get done. <laughs> I think that would be a hoot. We look at Rob Hack that in. This is kind of making me think a little bit of Wetrix, which is fucked up. Because thinking about Wetrix is always fucked up. Ice Cube warning. I might have to play a little bit of that audio in the background, actually. <laughs> Now go Because I feel like and conquer. people don't know how important Wetrix is. Okay, picture this. It's the 33rd century, okay. and a berserk supercomputer has enslaved the entire universe for a millennium. Only one uh, is this I have no mouth and I must screen the schmuck? <laughs> it sounds like Deltron 33. <laughs> God. Man, I was listening to that the other day. What a fucking smart album. <laughs> Such a good album. Such a good album. Crap me about stealing robots and being a fucking badass. So good. 
<laughs> no, don't! No! You have so much to live. Uh, Actually, no, wait, you can go for it. And press a, B, um, during this code C, reading, a, I'm gonna mute B, C, temporarily the B, this, and I'm gonna play some wet tracks noises. <laughs> I'll just bring him over here. <laughs> One sec, I need to I need to put this on the main screen here real quick. I'll just do that for you. Oh, come on. I just want people to see and hear some Wetrix. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Wetrix is one of those fucking games that no one believes is real when I describe it to them. <laughs> this is chaos! <laughs> Wetrix is real! I'm gonna skip ahead of it, see if we can get some more Ice Cube warning, because that's my favorite. There's air raid sirens, because one of the pieces is a bomb. <laughs> Repair bonus eight, lake seven, lakes. <laughs> I love the way the text for Ice Cube warning just slowly floats from left to right. It's so good. It's fucking awesome. God, I... Man, what the fuck is Wetrix? How are you real? I played this game. I rented this game. What was this for? It was N64, Dreamcast, I think PS1, and I think there was like a Game Boy Advance version, maybe? Or DS version? Everything that matters. There was a lot of releases of Wetrix! Wait, so this is like chaos terraforming the game. Yes. This is high speed Dojin the Giant. Wetrix kind makes of. it sound like it's, like it's a weird Tetris game, but it isn't. If you think that, you're, you're gonna be owned. It's oh, right, it was Game Boy Color, my bad. Okay, well. I'm gonna unmute over here. Let's now, get back to Golden Axe. Two hands because you gotta do all this at the same time. Whoa! <laughs> two hands. Wait, that's just the claw. That's not now, even a slightly a claw grip. A. <laughs> no, 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 it's like a proto the claw. It's like the ur claw. It's like it's like they're using two hands to press two buttons. You don't know how many hands he has. Highlight exit. <laughs> I, so he has four hands. I mean, oh, it's like it's like there's only three buttons, big dog, and you're putting your finger and your middle finger on them. Like you are so close, you could just use the ring finger for C, and you you could kick it, man. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? This, this is I was the joking about the claw, but this is a claw where he doesn't have to use it! This is the most unbelievably inconvenient way to put in this fucking code. Whoa! Oh, fuck yeah! Yes! 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 yes. What, is, what is this tape? Why does it have every best video game? Why does it have fucking Ernest Evans and the Immortal on it? <laughs> Everybody, let's talk about the anime Puppet Boy, Ernest Evans. No game can hate, uh, hide from Jame. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> I must return to the Jame cave. People only dare whisper my name, Jame Pro. <laughs> it's me, Jame Pro of the game Pro Fortune. And then unpause. You'll skip directly to the next level in the game. Oh, man. Not bad, huh? Oh, God. Yeah, look Let's at that fucking down anime down whip it. Not bad, huh? Down. <laughs> Not bad, huh? I say over footage down. of Ernest <laughs> Evans. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, huh? That looks alright. Right? right? Hey, this is pretty good. Huh? <laughs> I love this. Cool. Man, most people, <laughs> most people had no fucking clue how to use the Genesis oh, yeah, sound chip, cool. huh? Alright, 
Check this out, everybody. This, this is the you're driving a car. TV That's not what this. And Crystal, who happened to have two of the fastest trigger figures. Just skidding across the horizon like a maniac. Yeah, it looks like he's like scooting his ass along the ocean like some weird ethereal dog. <laughs> That's the CD dog. Bring up the title screen with the start option selection. This kicks ass. This this game this title is games in my life for the last few days. All right, cool. <laughs> now use controller two and press right button C and start simultaneously. Oh yeah, no what? shit. What do you think I'm doing this, man? I've been a stress a word for the screen. last few days. Now, once it does, just let's press just, right let's just talk about troubleshooter. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty shitty name for a video game. That's a pretty bad name for a video game. Just press start and begin your mission. Pretty simple, but let's run it Like it sounds like it's time. clever, but then you say it a few times and you just hate it more and more. This doesn't... I like this dude that moves right. inversely to you. <laughs> no! I'm trying to figure player. out... I'm trying to figure press out what the fuck right any of the hitboxes in this game are, and I literally can't parse a single one. I would not put it past this game for the entire character to be the hitbox. You see that jet just fire missiles out of its blowhole? Not just the entire character, all three of them. Okay, it looks it looks like the the guy in white is invincible. Maybe. Ow! That's your good support character, John Option. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, everybody! It's me here in this video game. Fish worship is wrong. A Please discuss. Are his shorts getting shorter? I swear to God. Yeah, no, I think he rolled them up. That, or they actually tried to put him on like a wire of some form, or he's just sitting hanging off the edge of like a chair, and his his shorts are just sliding up, just riding up. Thank you, Comrade Sock Monkey, for the resub. You got a dog. one twice. Sound nine once. And finally, sound two twice. See, these are the kind of codes I fucking love. We're like now, fucking around with the sound test and, and shit. Oh man, those are my favorite. Empire action. <laughs> Look how cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, video Jane. Fuck, man. Look how cool. Shit, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need to just like fucking clip that and then make it my new ringtone. Just whenever anyone calls me. Look how cool! And it's like, oh. <laughs> it has to go off for a full ten seconds before it actually plays the noise. Making it through Mandu's henchmen is no easy chore. So we decided. Yeah, I might make that my new follow notification, man. I might. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. It sounds like gamer Tommy Wiseau. I could just, I could just try and do a cutout so it's just him like walking in from off screen, just being like, "Wow, how cool!" <laughs> oh my god! No, you need to have an, a notification. Oh my god! And then C. Oh. Oh. Man, this looks like a game. Welcome to the Fight Palace. What game is this? Is this like a shitty Karanika? Oh, good. Only... Fart Monsters. <laughs> Great. I only recognize it from classics of game. <laughs> Yo! Happy Chabby, thank you for the resub. <laughs> a Redanian soldier flies into the distance. Look how cool. I'm sorry, can we can we observe this character? <laughs> He's gonna give him the fucking Rikishi bottom! This is like a dirty stripe up in his nose. Fuck him up. Tap A, then up, and then C. Napoleon? To play as Guano. Press That's up, the biggest problem with right, that character, you're right. Every time he turns into a ball and bounces around, he doesn't go bubba doo! Bubba doo, bubba doo! Man, that game was right. smart. And to bull through his Mondu, press A and B together, then down and then left. <laughs> Now, what the fuck is that? Yourself a this, fest. this character is the that. worst! Look at that stack of fucking pancakes! Now, 
You gotta nice try, still here. <laughs> you can't get rid of me. Knowing the password is just the you thought you'd banish me. You only banished me from the page. <laughs> There's no escape from Jane Pro. <laughs> You'll need to destroy every piece of paper in the world to escape from Jane Pro. And then every game, G. <laughs> Here's a little something to help you through the mansion in the Turbo Graphics CD Yikes. version of the hit movie oh. Adam's Family. Oh man! The now there's what a game the I want tips for the, the fucking Turbo Graphics CD of version of the Adam's Family. Gonna succeed, a few extra That's a game that needed top billing. <laughs> they, they weren't, they, there's no way they needed to fill this out. Like and and whatever, fucking J Pro knows what that is. Was Adam's Family a good we'll movie? I remember it being okay for the time, but what you have to remember is there was a period where. <laughs> God, any time they did a movie like this, they tried to do like a thousand different pieces of promotion with it. Like at some point, if y'all remind me, we could watch the uh, the Flintstones pinball machine video. Because, like, they did the Flintstones movie, and they, like, fucking sold, like, a shitload of pinball machines. They did Let's video games. They did, like, tie-ins. They did some hey, TV resurgences. They did fucking serial ads. Like, everything. So, like, cool. this is now, what they did for the Addams Family. The so, Addams Family actually also has a pinball machine. Now that I think about it. All right. I think my local bar has one, has that exact machine, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's a pretty common one, now that I'm thinking about it. They both it does are. not have the one with John Goodman Gold in a tiger skin. Will just about live forever, and mm, that makes true. The family <laughs> That's the first item, though. <laughs> God damn it, voice of dog, do not remind me of Uncle Fester's Tunnel Hunt. <laughs> what? Uncle Fester's Tunnel Hunt is a light that okay. flashes and lights up in the Adams Family pinball machine. There's just a light that says Uncle Fester's Tunnel Hunt, and that's all. And it's one of the funniest things I've ever read written down. Uh, it just lights up for whatever reason. It flashes. Well, it flashes whenever Fester's Tunnel Hunt is activated. Did I? <laughs> oh no, video game has been banished from Super Castlevania 4 forever. <laughs> Good riddance. Now leap up to the left one more time and stand right at the edge of the screen. Hey, if you played Simon correctly, you'll be showered with hearts, with power-ups, and a boomerang. Now can you get back? Yeah, no, we're just not gonna show that. They're not gonna show us! Just zipped him up there! You, you, you died on your way back, didn't you, Jane Pro? Oh my god. I just gotta do it again, huh? You sucked up. Finally, take one more leap to the left. I like to go back to when they played pole position, and like the moment they started, they crashed into the support next to the starting line. Did the video skip? Oh. Oh shit, Daniel's got some tips. Hey, what's up, Dan? <laughs> this kid is doing his damnedest, and I love it. He <laughs> sounds like he's doing a Griffin's Amiibo Corner impression. Yeah, it's awesome. It is so pure. I want to hang out with Daniel. <laughs> yeah, this is like I I could I could listen to a little kid talk excitedly about video game codes forever. Like that's great. Oh no! Speaking of things that are great, whoa. what? Whoa! <laughs> hey, Jane. <laughs> I'm just waiting for his like entire face to take up the screen as his reveal. You playing Adol must save the enchanted land of ease from evil forces once This is the really Wait, fucking terrible yeast game, right? Because I remember playing this one as a kid and being like, man, this fucking sucks. Like, I remember it being miserable. It's pretty bad. It's pretty I have bad. not played a single yeast game. I've heard the new one is really good. Like, a lot of my friends, have, even people who weren't super huge on the yeast games, like, say it's just really fun and satisfying to play. I know, like, I think it was Dectalon and Admiral Curtis both were liking it, if I remember right. And I've heard it's a really, really good. American Sammy. Huh. Oh, yeah, right, I forgot, because for a while, weren't they just, like, they were Sammy and then American Sammy? Like, that's how they split up their studios. 
Begin your game and press I forgot about that. To enter the character that used to be really <laughs> common practice, too, which was weird. Like, you still have, like, Nintendo of America and Nintendo, right? Choose but they're not, like, status. entirely separate studios that don't really talk to each Final. other that much. But that Choose used to be how it worked. And press select, which yeah, is I don't know. Screen. It's a weird approach to it. It's because, you know, communication and sending stuff back and forth used to be a nightmare. So, like, <laughs> doing development like that would have been crazy. Uh, so... Now, yeah, it's just to weird to think about how different the so games between the time. different groups were. Begin the game and immediately press I, I just appreciate every when time the that they show a code where he gets to a late part of the game and then immediately fucks up. Quickly push <laughs> up, down, up, down, select, and start before the screen begins to fade. Next, switch you will back live forever. <laughs> begin your game and press select to enter the character display screen. Choose status. Finally. Man, VHS quality was and great. Press select, which is in the status screen. Hey, if the word debug appears God, next to the word I status, want this VHS. Oh, okay, you say, okay, so the, the PC port way, of the game is really bad, but the PS4 version is really forever. good. Okay, good to know. I was actually press considering picking it up, so. And you'll go back to Thanks normal. for the heads up, cool, team. Huh? Fuck yeah! Star Wars! Whoa. Oh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, 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 I'm gonna hey, set up. No, I'm gonna put a step stool on the green screen and cover it in green screen. This is gonna kick ass. Trust me. It's gonna look like you're really in the game, James. I, I need to know how many people were involved to make this VHS. That's like two frames. Jesus Christ. James, shut up. But don't worry. Oh, he's alive. Okay. Oh my god, I was hoping he'd be down here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I thought he was shooting fucking shots of Mark Hamill in the air. I was so confused for a second. I thought he was just like David blading his own face into the sky. <laughs> Wait, this is a secret room, but you do need to kill yourself to get out of it. Well, it's a one-up loop. Very true. 99 Luke lives. Love those. I'm never run out of Luke's. I'm gonna, this one one more time. I'm gonna give you such a big Luke. I was gonna say, what's the code for bigger Luke? Can I get bigger, <laughs> bigger Luke? Big Luke. Until you reach the second platform jumping section. They are padding this, huh? Like they only had like they had like 30 minutes. They had 30 minutes of material, and they're like, uh oh, this needed to be a 45 minute tape. If we don't fill the whole tape, we get in trouble. You're not gonna do it for the grand game wizard. Oh, I saw that. I saw that you motherfuckers you tried to make a little, nice little hard cut to make it go from 20 to 14 without your boy ty noticing so i didn't think it was a loop nice try motherfuckers <laughs> i saw that shit whoa what the fuck is happening to the food it's not just me oh thank god after you've used up all the password tips game extenders and controller tricks in your arsenal and you still haven't seen the final frames of a game we can't fucking help you you suck it's get better, idiot. One thing we game pros don't oh, like to see game busters. A gamer. And I know all about frustration. So if you haven't made it to the end, we don't want to see any. I'm trapped here. here. Please don't get frustrated. We don't want to see any frustrated gamers. I mean, I agree. I do not want to see any frustrated gamers. I would rather oh. not. Hey, pal. Not too bad, huh? All right. For all you <laughs> out there, I think you'll agree nice the muscles. greatest challenge you can face would be I actually, every time I walk by a Street Fighter 2 cabinet, flex. Uh, <laughs> and just go like, not bad, huh, Guy? Like, every single time. <laughs> now, simply beating this goon is not gonna be enough, because the victory ceremony you witnessed And Bison is not a- Okay, well, he is a goon, but he's a little bit classier than that. Not just if you beat him. He's a goon pro. Here's a few examples of what you have- I mean, and the exciting part is- this is a little bit of foreshadowing because we do have a Street Fighter 2 tape later. And I will warn you, the Street Fighter 2 tape has a lot of races. <laughs> I will just say, when they introduce every character, they do a great accent of them. <laughs> We're here forever! I have no idea. Do you have the old DKC tape? If you mean exposing Donkey Kong Country, or Donkey Kong Country Exposed, do you fucking bet, pal? We've got the dirt on DK. In addition to the congratulatory screen, you'll also hear Chun-Li say, Ya Tai, by pressing the start button. Well... Ah, she'll say, Ya Tai. It's up to you to fight your way to these conclusions. 
Hey, all you hoopers out there, no. When it's <laughs> <a smash, laughs> basketball action, that's me. He's talking to me. Holy shit! Lady. Why is it? <laughs> hey, all you hoopers <laughs> out there? What? Ground ball action, and it's very. Are we finally gonna see the ending to basketball? You already know that one of the best parts is the excellent championship ceremonies at the end. That's pretty sweet. All right, you want a password? I'll give you. Oh, man. Here's a password tip that'll take you right to the ceremonies without having to play your way there. You're basically a drug dealer, Jay. Get into the password screen and enter NX WB BBB D. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Just go to the password That's screen. That's it. And it's that easy. NX WB <laughs> B B B. B. Oh, wait. Oh, by the it way, can't be that easy. Hello, I'm glad I spent forty dollars on this game. <laughs> well, I only have like four uh, tapes planned for today, chat. But I'm thinking I might do a couple more of these on Saturday because these are pretty good. <laughs> this is pretty good so far, I would say. The number one source of gamer information. See you next time. Oh shit, is that the end of the James Pro tape? Man! Oh, that is so good. Can't, can't weed. Weed. My guy! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! 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 Yeah, man! Doug Weeder! <laughs> See ya! Three different Gregs worked on this. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Bob. Thanks, dog. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Man. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and not be kind and not rewind. But I am going to get the next one. Here, let me send you a link to it. This only has 754 views. What a fucking crime. Um, Let me go ahead and... Yo, thank you for the bits. Send that to you, Taxi, and send that to you. This is Game Player's Game Tape, Volume 1, Number 2, Ninja Gaiden. All right, I'm at zero. Mm-hmm. Ready to go? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it five seconds again, and I have to pee real quick, and then we will go ahead and get, get cracking. So if you need to take your dog out, now is an optimal time, because I have to take m m my wiener out near the toilet to pee in it. Well, I'll be back. <laughs> Good. <laughs> See ya. Check. Oh, is that how you're supposed to do it? Oh, shit. Everybody go do that exact step. All, the, all of them. Don't skip any. Kids. I can tell you from experience, you do not want to skip one of those steps and do all the rest. It, it will not end well in any way. Hey, what up? Yep. Head count. What's up? You, you, you count the hey, heads. everybody. What's up? It's me, James Pro. <laughs> uh, is the whole team here and queued up in five seconds? Uh, I, just, yep. I just hopped in. One, two, ah, I let me send you the tape. Ray. Let me load it into my tape truck and beep, boop, 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 boop. There it is. Right. All right, five <laughs> seconds. Right. Yeah, five seconds. Did you catch any of the last tape? Because it was... I did not. Unfortunately, I was on a train. So... Man. <laughs> oh. 
I want to be trapped it in a nightmare. Like it's kind of like a train. It's like being on a train. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I'm there. <laughs> and thank you, Doctor Sartan, uh, for the reset. But let's let's uh, get this footage rolling in three, two, one, play. All right. All right. Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I think I laughed so hard I fucking threw on my back or something. Yeah. No. That was that was a hell of a tape. Video game was a character that I will not forget soon. Mm. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> that's cheery. <laughs> oh, good. I'm, I'm a toddler, so this appeals to me. Magma presents Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> you could like slip that in with some like baby genius, <laughs> baby Einstein fuck? tapes. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is amazing. <laughs> Bad dudes trademark. That's me. <laughs> Did we not know what music was in the 90s? <laughs> I'm fucking boring. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge. No. And also have some experience oh shit, I don't have the required reading no. material. I'm gonna be confused. Oh, oh, game players at game players magazines. I'm fucking dying. Hey, a good way to get better at this is be better at the game. That's one of our tips. Yeah. <laughs> be good. Welcome to Ninja <laughs> Gaiden game. <laughs> and and the debate is settled. It's Ninja Guy Den. I have fucking whiplash from this in the previous video. <laughs> Summer of little years. This is so Others fucking, must fucking have joke that space cop made. This tape will help you learn these skills. Your sword is an important weapon, but your ability to yes, is. Is too. No, no, Practice that's on this level. That is max volume, but I will uh, turn us down just a smidge and to compensate. So here's the zick. Your sword is an important weapon, but did you know you could also remember jump? it uses up spiritual strength? <laughs> no, I didn't. You have to use you. both these tools to maximum effect if you're top ninja Gaiden. It's the best weapon for speed. Watch. Unfortunately, it Fucking only lasts check this shit. <laughs> Hold my beer. Yeah. I know up here you have three frames to get this perfect jump. Okay, I'm alive again. This time freeze stops the enemies for five seconds. Oh. You really don't need this one. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> they just paused their footage. God damn it! There. No! Another very useful weapon. The windmill. My god. Star. Why? <laughs> Hey, Here's did you know you could get this thing and it'll be a complete waste of everyone's it's time? Garbage. It's garbage, though. Walks also, away. did they, Crip, Crip did they fucking... These guys are bad if they ever punch you. Did they fucking they hire the narrator from a you bunch of my, like, mechanical back. engineering videos? <laughs> you, just missed, this guy. you just missed... You These guys the are bad if they punch him, you. Then jump on the wall. Watch. <laughs> Thrilling. <laughs> What a master of deception. Just watch. Oh, I wish I could reach my arms off my head. <laughs> Star wipe. <laughs> I will lose my shit if there's like an intermission between acts. Practice using the different weapons. This area is not too bad. One. Intermission. Your progress needs this to is, become smooth This is impossible. It's not a joke. This is real. Someone's trying to kill me. Elf. Here's a series of well-timed jumps. Yeah. I mean, I it, check out these sick moves. I mean, they worked. these are pretty mediocre jump. I'm gonna tell you, man. It's weird how speedrunning has changed what being good at a video <laughs> game means, huh? <laughs> like, and how <laughs> online has really stepped competition Here's up another another level or ten. Unlike other weapons, you use this, this every time you jump, video? and you use up is energy. Is he showing facts. off all this sick ninja guidance shit? Is this is now this people put it Valley. under AMVs? There the are several rough spots here. Oh yeah. my god, am I? If you stand on the left edge, you can kill this. I mean, it, with your a lot of the AMVs that came in the late nineties, early aughts, right? So like, more critical now. what do they do? The optimal strategy is to hit the enemy without actually touching them. This is one of the hardest. Whoa! Whoa. You yeah. must get the invincible nice. fire wheel. Then hurt. welcome to the nega realm. <laughs> I will never go back to the negative realm. I escaped from video game and I do not intend to return taxi. This fire wheel <laughs> is trying very to important. bring us back. Unfortunately, our ninja has very little energy left. 
I will say, oh, no. if I wanted to do maybe the greatest joke I've ever little. done, and so I might have to like write this down and do it in 10 years once everyone's forgotten, With do this same five, videotape one, thing, except edit video watch. James into and all of them. The <laughs> so that he just keeps appearing. Try to hit Bob like he just walks he from off screen onto the screen the and then it cuts away immediately every time. <laughs> just, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Star wipe. Crystal Lake awesome. is a nice place to visit. You get to meet your first this is birds. so good. Yeah. I love birds. Oh. Great. Here's a yeah. helpful time freeze. Mm, Watch for cougars coming from behind. <laughs> I'm 12. Also, I'm, gla you, I'm glad chat agrees right that Your the star wipe is here. maybe the funniest shit on the planet. <laughs> Watch out for it the is. The star wipe is the funniest thing you can do in an editing room. <laughs> Watch out for hawks. Uh, you hey know man, what? Bet you want to put a star up into the final cut. Yeah, <laughs> fucking watch. We're in the lizard mountains. Yeah, if a comedy, quickly, if a comedy movie in 2018 wants to make me laugh really fucking hard, all they have to do is, apropos of goddamn stuff, nothing, put a star wipe in the middle. Like, don't talk Here's about it. Use. Don't make it be a scene that makes sense. Like, it's just the guy getting in his car and going to the grocery store or something, and it just cuts away with a star wipe, and then cuts and back sure with a star wipe. Movie maker quality star wipe. Give it. Must get this fire wheel to. Survive. Give me a You'll star wipe when it doesn't actually like change locations or time. It's just a different angle star wipe. God, that would the even be the best. Yeah, just have like a really duck, emotional turn, scene in your rom com and, and then just fucking <laughs> crack it with, <laughs> with the fucking the star wipe. Then time will <laughs> carefully. Give me a star wipe transition to the same scene. Just just have the star effect go across the scene, but like it's the same scene on both sides. Nothing changes. He's tough. Try to get here with full power and a lot of energy. You'll need the fire wheel we showed you. Put Nightcore over it. Where you stand is crucial too. God, like, uh, that would be another really good goof for, like, a video game. If, or the first, out of spiritual like, strength, the first time you run into an enemy, like, after you get your weapon or whatever, you know, like, your first tutorial fight, it pretends to do an RPG wipe, like, it does, like, the whole, like, pixelation and the screen cutting, but then it's just the same screen again, it's like, it's not an RPG, your man. <laughs> slightly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, help with the <laughs> I, I'm on it. I am on I'm putting that in. <laughs> it's like, it's like this, is, this is a platformer, man. I don't, what are you doing? <laughs> like, no. This spider is an extra life. God. Don't miss it. <laughs> don't, don't miss it. There's an invincible fire what the fuck? It can really You'll be help. sorry. Although you won't be needing them because you'll be so good at this video game after this. Watch out for the hawk here. <laughs> okay. Jeez, the thing I mean, hit like a train. Jump he and didn't let the watch out run for past. <laughs> don't get hit by the dogs. <laughs> like here. It's weird. We have but all this footage of us line. fucking up, but we don't we'll have any have footage of us doing good. <laughs> the time freeze will help you get across the bridge. You told us earlier that it's worthless. You're like, <laughs> you're like yeah, time, time freeze stops stop the screen for five seconds. Sequence. It uh, it sucks ass. Get this windmill throwing star for. It. <laughs> this power up sucks ass. Don't get it. <laughs> then climb jump to here and be patient. <laughs> just fucking chill on it. That's really the essence of playing Ninja Gaiden this is just, just, just chilling on it. Just be zen. You must get this windmill throwing star for the next level. That's run hmm. toward the middle here so you can use your fire wheel or sword. Wait for them to land. This is just a let's play. Once you exhaust This is just energy, a let's play of someone who like heard informative let's plays were successful for a while there and tried to do one but had no idea what that meant. <laughs> so they just did a walk through. Is a hard area. Whoa, Again, your this part's way louder. Here, I'd so love to see a let's play with star wipes in it. I mean, this is literally just a let's play but like unearthed from the night. Oh, I can't believe there was the never game. a star wipe in the Super Godzilla LP. Well, got to go remake an LP everybody. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess this guy invented LP? I guess, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, the what's up? Aren't too bad. Work your way <laughs> to here. Hey everybody, it's me, Game Player State Volume 1 here to tell you about Ninja Gaiden. 
Remember to like and subscribe. You know what that means. Be well in about 20 years. <laughs> and here's another energy restore. Energy restore. Make your way across the East Tower's outer wall. <laughs> nice, to nice secret technique, the place dude. of red execution. This really isn't too bad either. Yeah, it's my secret Going technique of just damage tanking, I guess. <laughs> just stand in front of him, fucking swing your sword a bunch, and body. like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you'll, you'll damage race him, it's fine. Yeah, you'll secret fine. technique, get my ass kicked. <laughs> the death brick. Eventually, if you Corrupt punch me in the balls enough, I can't feel it anymore, <laughs> making me the victor. <laughs> Idiot. Welcome to the Temple of You darkness. fell for my plan of the getting kicked in the dick a thousand times. <laughs> You'll need this windmill for Damn install. game players game tapes well, volume you, one, you geniuses. Here's a new enemy. You Jump fool, you utter imbecile. Didn't you realize getting kicked in the balls was my plan all along? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Make sure Too you slow. get this jump and slash. This guy is getting <laughs> hit by every enemy. <laughs> Do not and this break. Man. <laughs> Here's I know people who are worse at video games than this, but not a lot of them <laughs> who would actually say they play games, you know, like that. Hmm. Yeah, you get a, you get a mom or a dad to play a video game that's just the like, okay, you must but I don't know how to do this. And they do worse, strength. but like... But like, if I also, if I told my mom, like, hey, I need to record you playing video games for a pro tips tape, she would say, good one, fuck off. Restore <laughs> your physical energy. Here's a bad story. You can see why the time freeze is useful. That's just good life advice, honestly. It. You can see why time freeze is useful. Kill the jumper in the air and run for it. I also, you can I just say how much I love, and we're going to see this a little bit more later in the Street Fighter 2 tape. You should arrive uh, here with the fire wheel. When we Attack weren't sure how nose. to do terminology Keep for games. As fast as you can. And so people <laughs> use really energy, weird terms like a physical restore for like a heal. Like, what the fuck? A... a Physical restore. Now you must face Jockey. <laughs> Here we go. Here's how our ninja does it. You'll need to arrive here with at least 96 units of spiritual strength and the fire wheel. You will need at least 96 units of spiritual strength. <laughs> Once again, good life advice. Can I, can I just take a moment direction. to appreciate turn this voice saying, this is how our ninja does it. Also, by the way, I'm, I don't remember if I did a proper introduction or not, because I'm the shit, but... Yo, Kavanaugh, hello. Hello, Kavanaugh. Oh, hey, what's also up? a real-ass game developer who uh -huh. has done work on In games. The final area, wow. You attacked by the demon statue yeah. come to life. Wow, it's like this stream Again, has some credibility. Great spiritual strength. <laughs> we know all about Star Wipes in the industry. Every time this yeah. guy says great spiritual strength about Ninja Guy Den, I'm it's dying. Hard, but not too damaged. <laughs> Now, as for how the story ends, well, we'll just let you discover that. Fuck you! Get the power to move! <laughs> so yeah, no spoilers! Good oh, no, no, I don't want to deal with Jim again! We only showed you the entire game. Grudge what the hell? What? This controller oh, looks oh, like oh, shit. Hulk Hogan fire fucking just permit. tried to murder that child! Oh the shit! Oh, gamer right. cops! Oh, the gamer cops heard you're using a cheat! you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Too bad I already put in a dope backflip cheat. wireless remote controller licensed by Nintendo created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim remote. The power. They always had the problem I do backflips while playing video games and I get tangled in the cord and smashed my face. Yeah, god, it sucks. A turbo controller really helps in this game. I always get it's a good idea when people call controllers remotes and I've known so many people who do it, but remote controller is another level. If you if you gave me like a 360 controller and called it a remote controller like Here's the Xbox 360 remote controller. I'd be like, "Are you high, man?" <laughs> <laughs> Shooting and jumping. That was. I really appreciate that the uh, their direction. advice. So first advice of this game is fucking cheat and get a turbo way. controller. Yeah, just cheat. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, cool. So that's how they're fucking firing so quickly. Is just that they, they have turbo. <laughs> even even at this point, they knew you just go for Metal Man first. I reassure myself yeah, right. as I close my eyes and dance into Metal Man. I thought they thought Mega Man was called Metal Man, like the video game. <laughs> also, thank you, hello Allison, for the resub. Jail isn't real. I reassured myself as I close my eyes and damage boost into Metal Man. But if you do fall, keep moving and stay away from the robots. But Mega Man's a robot. I love this track from Sonic. How does Mega Man stay away from himself? 
Stay oh away my from God. the robots! Inst and then he instantly gets Flat crushed. Not too hard to beat because he'll mostly just run after you. He doesn't jump much. Just keep moving. Wait, this is on easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, oh my God! It <laughs> That's on easy, isn't it? Well, oh wait, right, because it was normal and hard <laughs> in that one, right? And hard is what was actually normal. Fish with eggs. If those eggs yeah, you super. Yeah, also, he didn't use about. weakness. Good Keep point, Declan. <laughs> he just referred to a bird as a flying fish with eggs. This is the worst game strategy I've ever. Try to shoot when he's thrown his shield at you. But if you are hit, you don't have to hit him. Just try. For a couple of seconds. Try to hit him when so he's not invincible. Run up to him. Did he, he just gave us a tip of, hey, when, when you've been hit, you're temporarily invincible. It's like, oh, fuck. Get going. This feels you like a, like a joke video move. that was so made like today, kind of. It's shocking. It's real yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's very Go pure. It's very of the Jeez. time. Are Holy dead, shit, that was so a star watch just off the screen. But do jump sooner than you normally do. Grab these energy balls. If you're shot, you'll start to flash, and you can run through the fish without getting hurt. <laughs> I like this man's voice. I hate the words he's saying. <laughs> I love these awful, awful tips. All of these tips fucking suck, and I love it. <laughs> They're so dumb. Damn it, fucking, it's I don't like know, he, man, if you get hit. There are tips you didn't need to spend fucking 20 bucks on a VHS tape to learn. Yeah, God. For extra life. God, come next and April Fool's, I, I just want to make one of these for my own so game. Just like a more really more shitty tips and tricks VHS. Just post a fucking live at your own video game. No, fucking put, energy, put green so screen footage of somebody energy. over, like, video footage of your game, and he just, like, talks to you specifically explaying how to play and put video tape into your game. Oh my God, just pause. Actually, the game just pauses and video game Don't comes out. The until you <laughs> Hi, it's me. These flyers. You could fall down several levels. Or just show people how to use, like, uh, cheat engine in your game. <laughs> Here's the address if you can, use HP. the airman's weapon against Crashman. Two shots. Use the airman's weapon. The airman. <laughs> I am the airman. <laughs> The airman. That's what I. Oh yeah. By the way, here's airman. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. They hide. They try to use his weapon, but also, fuck you. We haven't gotten there yet. They drop on you while You'll you're in figure the it out. These cloud devils. <laughs> yeah. Also, good point. Plan they're never. They're avoid. never using the reason Ouch. metal blade is busted. Like the damage is good, but the reason metal blade is fucking broken is you can throw it at an angle. And they're only shooting it straight, and it is breaking if my fucking man, nuts. You can destroy <laughs> with two hits. Keep moving. Destroy and him! Like what God! Stop it! Stop getting hit by everything! You wouldn't even be able to beat this game on hard! Don't give tips! <laughs> Stay to the right as you fall, and you'll get extra Man, measures. I'm a video you editor. Your My boss told me we were pivoting to video, so like... <laughs> <laughs> the original pivot to video. These fucking tapes. I don't know Flash how to play man. video games. So you can freeze time. <laughs> oh, you're fucked. Why? Why did you jump up the fucking... Now! Then grab the energy Now! <laughs> would own if this, if this was just like, they like, uh, called the Nintendo hotline. And just it's wrote down what they said to them. Fight with Quick Man. <laughs> Quick Man jumps, and the small whirlwinds you throw will spread out and get him. Quick Man's a bastard. <laughs> that's that's the real answer to what how you fight him. Fuck Make Quick sure Man. you don't aim at the boss at all while fighting him. Quick Man will jump, <laughs> relocating him to a higher plane. <laughs> Learn how to jump with the <laughs> Man knows where he is because he knows where he isn't. Here's a tip, fucking give up. These things are impossible, man. I've been trying for like six hours. <laughs> I can't get these stupid invisible ass blocks. We made these fucking bullshit asshole blocks. No gamer can do this. You'll need to know the pattern of the disappearing blocks here. Why would you not recommend no using the Almost flight? Across. You have use flight. Jet sled to get past the fire oh, thank you, okay. Jesus. I was gonna say, fucking use items two or three. What is wrong with you? Bubble Man is your beat. best weapon against Yes, he did call it a jet Jump sled, which I do like as a new a alternative Man. name for Rush. Ooh, did he call it Bubble Lead or Bubble Weed? It's important. I think he just said Bubble. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Use the levitation platform. So it's there's not an E there down. normally, right? But you can only use three nope. at one time. Okay, oh, just, okay. just doing a quick double right. check, Aruski. That's your Wiley. <laughs> 
Dr. Wheelie. It's the dragon in Dr. Wily's castle. Hit him in the head to get rid of him. Being quick man is a good choice here. Being quick man? Being quick man. He's in love. Shoot him in the head. Uh, is your recording equipment doing all right, big dog? This. <laughs> What's happening to the Mega Man? The Mega Man's having a prob. Use the ladder on the right to get extra energy. I also refer mana. to whenever I equip it's a weapon as jump, being well whatever I think trouble. that weapon. Like if I pick up a sword, I'm like, well, time to be a blacksmith. Like, <laughs> just every time. <laughs> Look at the fucking ammo bar. It looks like it's alive. It's horrible. Yeah, there's, there's those like pixel wide spaces, and they are getting some this VHS wiggle. Flying blocks is tricky. It, it's, Try to stand I kind of want to replicate that rules, sort of. Quick man's boomerangs are great here. Why would you, you don't not? have a weapon that shoots in eight directions, so use Quick Man's weapon. I was gonna say, like, what? And yo, thank you for that fresh Twitch Prime sub, W Brimley. Nice. I'm gonna put a, a a goal with a reward on Saturday, and I'm gonna loosen it up and make it nice and you nice and easy, it. and just fuck it if we hit it, I'll do it because I don't feel like having to wait for a week and call it out and whatever. Fire at this guy. Should be good. <laughs> it might have to do with Shadow the Hedge Hank. And He's fuck, not as this tough is as he looks. one shot. One shot. <laughs> that was multiple shots. One shot. Watch out for hidden gaps in these platforms. No, it, it's one shot when you got turbo to on. Right of the screen, Cocky right bastard, of the final flash, and then I just shoot a single boomerang into him. <laughs> he falls <laughs> over, dies. Just Sometimes use turbo, it's idiot. Better just to drop off a ladder instead of climbing down slowly. Here, change to Mega Man, and then drop to the bottom before no. that robot can get to the left <laughs> side of the screen. You'll never get me, jump bitch. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I, I was ready in advance. This room's gonna fucking kill this, this guy. This is one of the toughest rooms in the whole game. <laughs> we'll look at this. <laughs> use the levitation platform to start. You'll the levitation use platform. Your elevator in this room. Uh -huh. Now watch how it's use done. Use your elevator. Don't use up your bombs too fast. After they're gone, you're gone. After they're gone, you're gone. The threat? I mean, he's not wrong. Like it, it is like a soft. Lock. Well, it's not a soft lock. You just die, but you can, yeah, be in a pickle because you can't break through the walls and you can't blow up the things without crash bombs. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow. Get blasted. Nice. <laughs> Here's a tip, use an E-Tank when you're at like now three quarters health and there's a single Dr. enemy on screen, but I guess. <laughs> this isn't the end of the game. Good luck, you're almost there. What? Spoilers. You're almost there, it's- What the Triangle. fuck is Triangle. this thing? Triangle. <laughs> Triangle. Whoa! <laughs> what is this? to play Super Mario RPG on. What is this Dorito stick? Go fucking find one of those. Fuck, I want to make a hitbox shape like that. <laughs> it's not a hit, Tyler, it's not a hitbox. It's a hit triangle. Hell yeah. Supersonic the joystick, is that what you think you're fucking good? God, that music was so good. Oh shit, it's time for bad dudes. Bad dudes. Wait down here for these ninjas. This will keep them from getting <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Remember, kids, don't let ninjas gang up on you. This jumps back and forth. Stay in the middle and catch him when he lands. To defeat the first super warrior, use jumping spin kicks. When he raises his Enough? arms, he'll shoot fire. The so first super warrior. That's what I call bosses now. From now on, that is the new... <laughs> That is the new term. I get to the fucking calamari boss fight in Super Mario top. RPG, getting ready to fight the Super right Warrior of the Sea. <laughs> Isn't the composer for Bad Dudes also the composer for Mother 3? Something like that. Like, the Bad Dudes composer just did something really impressive afterwards, I can't remember. Build up a flame punch by holding down the A button for three to four seconds. Flame punch! Make sure you're not about to be attacked. Yeah, there were charge attacks and bad dudes. There's charge Be attacks in the, the arcade release too. Anytime you kill one, they'll leave a valuable weapon behind. 
the arcade release nice. of Bad Dudes is exponentially more fun once it is set on free play. <laughs> Time to face the second Super Warrior. It goes from being a really <laughs> terrible game to being a pretty back. fucking Keep fun little game. With knife and you're the truck just says it. dudes. <laughs> God, I'm way into this dude just crouching and stabbing forward constantly. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> just, you can't touch me, I'm wheeling a knife in front of me. <laughs> That's how you fix ninjas. You just do that. Ambush. The ninjas are out in full Ambush! Force, oh shit, ninjas fight. in the sewers! You ready? Get that knife, you better start stabbing. Don't <laughs> overlook this cola. It can really be right. right. <laughs> Hey, oh, don't overlook serious. this cola. <laughs> don't, don't you dare. Drink that cola out of the sewer, you coward. The third boss won't come what the fuck? Too good for a sewer cola? All of his henchmen. Hmm, I wonder what super warriors. I wonder what super warriors. I wonder what, what, I wonder what technique. Wait till the knife, though. I wonder what technique this fucking master is gonna pull out of his pants. Oh, it's crouching and stabbing a bunch. Several times, but don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Yeah, he called. You can't beat him. He's too powerful. <laughs> He called him a boss now, which is why it was so goofy that he called him a super warrior earlier. <laughs> You've got one shot at this nasty character, so you better make it count. <laughs> so crouch and fucking stab, idiot! <laughs> Pick up the nunchuck. Dominant strategy! Than the knife. Who, who, who? Watch out! Gotcha! Nunchucking him. Jumping spin kicks are the best techniques to use against the Man, super the warrior. Lot for every two he kicks, said super warrior again! <laughs> to be fair, this guy is a super warrior. By to oh, definitely. Look at them kicks! <laughs> Once the coast is clear, Look at the fucking tattoo! Dish out some more punishment. Oh, man. Whoa, I can't- <laughs> I <love his> drop <laughs> kick. <laughs> what do you mean where he just, like, <laughs> flips in the air and sticks his legs out at the end? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's such a powerful martial arts technique. You're moving again. Not as powerful as crouching and stabbing. Hi ya! Not as powerful as my style of having a knife with me. <laughs> Good weapons are harder to find in these later stages. Yo, AI has come a long way, huh? Be quick about getting back on the train, or you'll never see the Man, you're right, but on the other hand, there are already games with better AI than this. Yeah, JT, JT Jag, I agree entirely. This dude probably tried the crouch stab on that one boss and was just getting entirely outranged over and over. And he's like, fuck, man, this is ridiculous. And he's like, wait, I can stick my leg out slightly farther than the knife. <laughs> or he might have lost his knife. I think the knife is a temporary power up. Yeah, yeah, it is. See, oh, I think no. I love, what I love about the, the term Super Warrior that he keeps using is that it makes it sound like an old DB, like Ocean DBC dub. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Saiya Warriors, the Saiya people. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> Super Warriors. Super Warriors, Saiya people, show me your true shit. God, those tastes are so good. <laughs> so good. Big green. <laughs> super Let that child alone. Chain. <laughs> yeah. tough enough a to deadly chain. Here's a hint. No, the do the whistle. Go on, do the whistling. Go on. <laughs> Go on, do it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's the yeah the other dumbest where Saiyans are all referred to as space game. warriors it at all times, all and it's things. also extremely <laughs> good. <laughs> Just, Plus spikes. Ah, I see you are here, the Saiya space warriors. Oh God. Good shit. Just walk underneath all of it. They don't give a shit. Fuck. <laughs> no. no one would have avoided this. <laughs> Stop getting hit by them! <laughs> you, you'll get to this part of the level. Get There's some of those stalactites or stalagmites, whatever the ceiling ones are, and they just the fall out you completely impossible to avoid. Just deal with it. You're gonna need to pick up an extra cola later on. No way to avoid these ones. Make this oh, cola gosh. last. The you know, I didn't realize that One Figure Death Punch was a uh, spiritual successor to any video <laughs> games, but apparently it's just, just bad, bad dudes did it first. Yeah, apparently. Just stand in place and guys walk and towards you from two directions forms. and you just sit there and punch them. Supply. <laughs> By energy supply? No! Oh, I could really use a nice physical restoration for my spiritual power. Gosh. Uh, God, but if only. got plenty of ninjas, spikes, and forms <laughs> to worry about. 
plenty of ninjas. <laughs> okay, Thorns, huh? Oh my god, he- oh my god, no way! You fucking idiot. Wait, did he call the stalactites thorns? He might have. <laughs> <laughs> to triumph over the fifth he had to call the he had to call the like, like, like I, he, maybe those screen. is what he thought were spikes and things in the ground were thorns the second super war because i suppose it could have been like bamboo i like no, the idea of spikes. cave thorns though yeah <laughs> made it to the oh man check out for those cave thorns you mean the ceiling yet. ones or the ground you ones oh the ceiling ones if you run into <laughs> all of the super warriors you've already I beaten i can't believe this man disassembled a ninja warrior clan just by stabbing forwards <laughs> <laughs> i love the phrase don't be surprised implies that this may or may not happen to kill <laughs> 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 We got him now! <laughs> so really Form fun. human well, bye. I'm glad that bad dudes predicated Goomba stacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the elevator. Don't get that is a close. really good elevator noise, man. Yeah, that is that, that is quality. What the fuck's happening to the oh. first time you fought the super warrior, you spin kicked him to death. This time, <laughs> duck uh -huh. and use your nunchucks. <laughs> That's a really shitty way to use nunchucks. Man, video games fucking suck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe the fuck these. Is that? I can't believe these stupid you fucking things caught on. <laughs> I mean, your method of they did it the first time. Close while kicking him. Oh god. Yeah, give him the duck chucks. <laughs> give him the old, the old crouching slap. The last super warrior looks fearsome, but is he? Uh, Try some low kicks. A helicopter? Find out. Oh. Good luck, okay. dude. Good luck, dude. <laughs> I do like that he throws out the, the jab pokes in between the legs. Get into the game. I'd like to think uh, they don't show him actually doing these baseball. final bosses because the they just couldn't do it. Oh. 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 Flash Vince Coleman, the steel sport. Uh, thanks for the actual the gameplay differs disclaimer. <laughs> RBI baseball, the one the pros pitch. Yeah, there's there is no footage of the video game in there, huh? <laughs> there are some UI elements in the video game, which is, uh, you know, I want to say bold. Don't waste your valuable this day bullets on these tarantulas. <laughs> Just avoid them. What is this piece of shit? <laughs> this looks. You can welcome Look at that fucking dainty stepper a little boy has! This does not look like a good video game. Oh shit, it's Amagon! What the, what the, fuck, <laughs> what the, is what the fuck is Amagon? Amagon? I'm gonna need you to explain this, this to me. This is this is a Kuso, a right? Like, this game fucking sucks. I'm not an idiot. Like, this is as bad as it looks, right? Oh, it's garbage. What is he shooting? Is he have just have a Mega gun? gun what the fuck? And this Yo! Does he kill the thrust? No! Show more of that! When the we might see more power you, waves, don't worry. To jump back. There's still time for more power waves. There's always time for more I, power waves. I need to go hold that again. Shoot the mushrooms before you try to cross the water. <laughs> <laughs> just kill these little shits in advance. Boy he genius. Can shoot more than one That's bird a at a time. <laughs> These sentences are so good. <laughs> Video game tips are great, These especially hold bullet magazines. <laughs> Take cover. Especially when they're using complete... <laughs> especially okay. when they're using completely incorrect terminology for when everything. Lion head, it's best to use lasers. Jump over or dodge his fire. I mean that <laughs> okay. Is he at the lion? Down, punch him. Um, I can't stop uh, looking. Get out of here! Out of my sight! Get lost! <laughs> Just trying to fucking whiff two H's all day. What get an idiot! Here, you. What a bad cave, Most man. Of these mosquitoes will give you bullets. Oh, what is this is a good sound. Is this on purpose? That's is the mosquitoes, dog. You don't have I think. to fight the elephants. There's you no can travel through the treetops. <laughs> Also, fuck, this game is lagging the hell out. Jesus. This sucks. Oh, man. If you keep walking left here, these elephants will drift yeah. away. Oh, they that's what it is. The guy's using a slow-mo controller. You're right. That's right. 
That makes sense. So slow mo controllers were the ones that just like had a button that Staying would just rapidly pause and unpause. First. Then you can move down to ah. his back and dodge yeah. the. Yeah, and that's how they did slow mo, quote unquote. Was it just mashed start every single frame so that it would pause and unpause and run at like you know quote unquote half speed or so. Um, oh my god! And it gave you high. beautiful well, sounds like this with the get. music being interrupted all the time too. Move so these remix. Doing this to that us. way you won't waste bullets or lasers. No, stop it! No! <laughs> Asshole! So the fuck? Two, oh, this is the pits! Moles have bullets for you. Oh, you dickbag! How did you Why think are this you was doing a this? Why didn't you just mute it and put other noise on top of it? Wait until these How do I fall. mute it? I don't they know. <laughs> fuck these rabbits. <laughs> After these oh moles God. fall, jump on the turtle. And it don't jump until a mole keeps is about to hit you. Happening. <laughs> also, yeah, I hate you can tell the game is running too slow, but it doesn't look like it's running that much too slow, right? Like this game right. must just normally run way too fast. I think I remember doing that. Yeah. Oh my Shoot God. The devil tree's eyes. But don't I, I, touch them. What the fuck? And shoot the Look at that fucking tree! Look cry. at the devil tree's eyes, but don't touch them. Whatever you do, I, never touch them. Don't look them. at them when they blur. Do not look at oh. them when they blur. Thank Christ. Do not imagine an image of the tr tree devil. No! To the left, lose the <laughs> <laughs> Just as you Back no! out again and add the beep beep train. Here I, we go. I only load this. I can't take it. <laughs> this sucks. This <laughs> I'm muting this. I'm sorry. It's okay. I can't. You know, I have to. I have to be the guy who listens. Be my guest. <laughs> Keep shooting at the eyes, and the hippo demon will appear at the end. Potion of seller, I need your Use strongest potions, for I am going into battle with the devil tree. You can't handle my potions, traveler. <laughs> They're too strong for you. You've oh, got to kill everything God. on the screen to Potion finish. Potion seller, please. I need your potions. I need your potions if I'm to be successful in the battle. <laughs> Oh my god, and this is purely to sell the controller, by the way, if you didn't realize uh -huh. that. Because remember, there was oh, the yeah. ad for the wireless turbo controllers mm -hmm. and shit earlier? Watch out for these yeah. They That's why. Hey, the Our turbo controller will really fuck up your game. Please, no you won't be able to play them that goddamn the skeleton falls and just fucking I need your strongest <laughs> turbo controller. Oh my god, and thank you, Juno. My turbo play. controller will change. donation, and thank you, Nab. <laughs> the donation. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear the EP beeps from the robot. Show me what it sounds like when a robot tries to do it. Oh. Jump on his cloud and the dinosaur will jump off. Then punch him. <laughs> punch that fucking thing. E -p 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 p p p p p p p p not bad, actually. And thank you, Tuna Break, and thank you, Nab, for the donation. Zone five two. Shoot the Megasaurus's horn. Did you see that it's fucking his weak spot. caveman just sit on that cloud and uppercut at that dinosaur? Oh, they don't stop with the fucking slow mo controller. They just never. If you're Megasaurus, they never fucking stop with these piece of shit. Stop it! Stop six. the beeping, you sons of bitches! Fuck! <laughs> oh. oh, I'm gonna scan this video. Oh, How much God. longer do we have of this? All right, we've got like another like minute. We're good. We have like thirty seconds, maybe. Oh, soon the superior way to play will be over. It's the alien. Shoot his star and super enjoyable. Defeat him. Oh God! Someone send Bro sent you this tip. Be like, hey Bro sent you. Have you considered making it fucking insufferable to play? Now you can hear oh, the shit. things you want to know. Oh my god, we're free. Oh, we are free. Thank you. We are free, friends. Again, press one. For another game. 125 <laughs> for the first minute. 75 cents go! every <laughs> additional. <laughs> oh. Thank you, South Nation. <laughs> Amazing. No jokes, just thanks. Here's how to win Airwolf. Fucking throw it out the window, kid. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Sally Jim. And yeah, this is uh, 
a lot. And yeah, 125 for the first minute, 75 cents after. And this is like, remember what, like 92 money? 93 money? Yeah. A 1900 so number. If you, if you call for six minutes, then you're paying $5. Jesus, and you know they fucking took their time getting you, you to the right person and looking up the hints for you and everything. Yeah. Otherwise, the enemy will so, launch more planes. So, in Ninja, Gaiden, you must first Listen pick up oh the my sword. God. <sighs> Remember that your character is able <laughs> to jump. One trick Yang. for rescuing prisoners is to avoid Wenli. their combat. Find the prison and get away <laughs> as soon as possible. I don't think I've ever actually During seen a human being be play sure Airwolf now that I think about it. Gear. Otherwise, you'll <laughs> crash when you touch the ground. I've heard of the concept of Airwolf. I usually confuse Airwolf with the good Jeep game uh, mm. for the NES. Yeah. As you know, I mean, like it's like you know, airwolf, the and then just the sky, you know, so you don't get blown up. jackal, which kicks ass. This is hell. Like every few minutes, we get back to the cool airwolf like theme song jam, which is the only good thing about airwolf. Make no mistakes. Yeah, you might Hell's be right. This stupid. might this might be earlier. When would this have been? Now that I'm thinking about it. If your helicopter is damaged, hell yeah. you can stop for repairs. Because this is all NES, right? There's no SNES on here, or like Genesis. So, oh yeah. This must be pretty old. Maybe it's like late just, 80s even. Why didn't you just always play the airwolf theme? It's so good. About 89, you're game, thinking? Yeah, I believe it. Planes take to the air to shoot you out of the sky. Sounds about right. Try flying faster to avoid them. Well, how could you not fucking think about Akewood when you hear about the airwolf helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> shoot these missile launchers on the ground before they can fire missiles at you. No shit. I want another star wipe. Just one. Come on, on one more star wipe for Daddy. He chose where prisoners <laughs> and yeah, enemy more. Just, airfields just are chaser. located. Just need a chaser. The map can also guide you. Just need you one to more hit of a star wipe before I go, dog. I know we're about to end this this beautiful journey here, but I, ah, man, really want a star wipe. Just one. Just please. These are all so incredible. In the higher stages of air Oh no, there will be a Street Fighter tape. We have more. I mean the end of you just this tape. Sorry, not to be more specific. To just this tape. <laughs> uh, we're still in hell for a while. If you enjoyed this great Sadly, game yes. tape, you'll really enjoy <laughs> We are going to be stuck here magazine. for a hot minute. Every friend. exciting issue is packed full of hints, oh tips, God. and playing strategies, just like the ones on this game tape. You can order a dream subscription to both Game Player's Guide to Nintendo a fucking Games dream and subscription. Game Player's Magazine. A total of 18 awesome issues today for only $39.95. Don't miss another issue. Fucking $39.95? Whoa. Whoa. That is more expensive than, like, in actual dollars. Like, nowadays you buy a subscription like that, and it's, like, 20 bucks. Like, I remember getting a fucking, like, subscription to, like, Tips and Tricks in, like, 2003, and it was, like, it was, like, $16 for a year or something. Yeah. Yeah, what like, the fuck? Shit. What that the is a lot of money fuck? for one issue. That is a lot of money for one issue. Okay, they well, really tell you anything? They just say common sense nonsense at you for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go grab another drink, but I do yeah, I gotta go. hop off to get some some dinner. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna go ahead. Still going and... a bit later. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to hop back on. But for now, yeah, we might be goodbye. kicking it for a bit because it's time for Street Fighter Two: Mastering Great Combinations and Strategies. <laughs> Oh, man. I have to turn this to miss it, but uh, a lot. yeah. But good luck with that one, and I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks, we might need it. Um, <laughs> yeah, in case, chat, just as a heads up, there is going to be some uh, casual 90s flavored racism in this one. Just going to put it on the table right here and now. Oh, like, yikes. They do uh, an accent for a lot of the characters, and... Uh, Oof, uh, let's just say they here here's how culturally sensitive this tape is. They refer they refer to Ryu as Ru. So just to give you an idea of what level we're gonna be dealing with here. Man. Oh boy. Just oh, shit. Well good luck with that. I'll see y'all later. Alright, well I am paused at two seconds.
um, if that's good with everybody. Because I want to tweet this one out specifically, because I know there's going to be some people who are going to... Oh, oops, I accidentally popped out to a different window where I was listening to fighting game music. <laughs> oops. Um, okay. Yeah, uh... Time to learn about your <laughs> time to learn about mastering great combinations and strategies. I see. I, see. I hear we're gonna deal with some racism. Street Fighter Two. Oh, you know it, big dog. It's gonna be great. Um, if you, uh, we're at the Street Fighter video and we are paused at two seconds. Yeah, I'm there. Uh, Good. Oh, Let me go feed my cats real quick, though. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's important. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. This is gonna kick ass. Like I seriously, like I have been excited about most of these things. If we're being real, like like these tapes have all been fucking awesome. Um, they're about to. To get pretty great. Uh, like, they've all been fantastic. They've all seemed really silly. Uh, and Adrian actually just sent me the one we're probably going to watch next, which is an infomercial for a very special console. And I'm really excited to watch how they tried to promote this fucking lump. I will post it in the Shapes Museum so you all can see it in advance and get ready. <laughs> ready, ready, gird your loins for... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> it loops at the halfway point with a more desperate bundle. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, Adrian. Oh, this is going to be great. I can already tell. <laughs> Man. All right, as soon as Son of Bozu is back, we'll start mastering great combinations and strategies for Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Special Champion Edition. So how's it going, Chad? How's it going, Doc? How how you doing? How you doing, bud? I'm all right. I'm very tired all of a sudden. That'll happen. That'll happen. However, I am ready to learn some combination. Mm -hmm. That combo nation. Is that a thing? Being part of the combo nation? Is that a, is that a fighting game thing? It should be. Mm, it might be. No, the Shapes Museum is the one for like the, the stream call stuff. For like the very, it's very tiny. It's like ten people total. It's one mostly for for stream talks, stream chats, setting stuff up. Um, yeah, just played a bunch of Stellaris. Heard that game's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty it's good, especially now they've they've made some good changes. Yeah, there's another. Oh, uh, there's a game I'm excited to stream for all y'all soon. Uh, that I got, uh, the devs just sent it to me and they just sent me my favorite kind of Twitter DM from game devs, which is just like, Hey, we saw you really liked this thing. Our game is kind of based off of that a little bit. And we thought you might like it and might look, enjoy looking at it. Here's a key. Have a good one. Like, not like asking me to stream it. They're like, you know, if you want to stream it, cool. We know you're a streamer. We know you like it. That'd be awesome. If not, whatever, man, here's the game. Enjoy. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, cool. And, dead. Uh, nice. Thank you, Civil Twilight. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna see some jumping into light fierce here. <laughs> and they're gonna refer I'm to huge. it as fierce. Don't you worry. That button's called fierce. All right, is, there, <laughs> is everyone here now? We have taxi, yes. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to step away for a moment. Okay, can you at least wait till we sync the video? Yes, that's my, that was my okay. goal. Three, two, one, play. Whoa, it's already ripping. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I love strats. That was readable. It was. Really? Man, I love road trips. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah! Nice kicks, dog. Did you just break into Capcom's... Yeah. He's not supposed to be here. <laughs> nice tucked in shirt. Cool, here we are. The source of all Street Fighter... Jesus! Capcom headquarters in Northern California. Okay, so you played Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the Super NES system or the Special Champion Edition on the Sega Genesis system. You've gotten pretty good. But since you're a cut above most players, being pretty good doesn't cut it. 
be the best. You could have spent a fortune you don't have learning the moves on your own in the arcade. Or you could have spent nice time right. you don't have figuring out the moves off the printed. Yeah, page. I mean, but you've decided off to the, check out the strategy video off the machine. Instead. Like, it's, it's not just not the just moves the that people are trying to find. This is way too radical. And the Sega Genesis <laughs> Thank you, Simon so Grandpa. You're right. To make you think like a winner. I would like to point out. Yeah. There was that shot where there was all that purple around him. Why? That's to contain him. Uh, they were <laughs> showing all already out. Well, they were showing his hurt box data, so you know you know where to fucking hit him if he doesn't <laughs> if he doesn't stop and he needs to. Oh god, it extends way out past the sprite. He has got to be garbage. Yeah, no, he he's generous. Well, the thing is, his hit boxes are also fantastic. It's kind of a Persona Arena situation. Oh, gotcha. Also, I think he might be the Dan. I think they make him bad on purpose. He is absolutely the Dan of whatever game he's in. <laughs> yeah, but once we get to uh, Ultra Game Tapes 4, he's actually going to become like middle tier and pretty good. <laughs> you can always rewind this video and review, right? Check out some of this introductory stuff. He's Ken! Holy Whoa! shit! <laughs> introductory stuff. I feel like someone's assaulting me. When you actually play, you have to do them much faster. For the purposes of this video, these punch buttons... This is my favorite thing, by the way. Jab, strong, Jab, fierce. Strong, fierce. The three punches. Short, short forward, 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 roundhouse. roundhouse the three kicks. <laughs> the three fucking kicks. And high kicks or punches. And now here's our first Street Oh, Fighter man. Warrior. This is no time for false modesty. This sucks. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no. Observe my improved fireball. Ah, Frawless, of course. Yeah, they had to do that, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Science Diet, for the resub and interrupting the horrible Rue. Of all street fighters. Ryu from Streets. I feel only pity. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is garbage. Oh. Jump at your opponent with a late And like you think the narrator is all it is, but wait until we get into them hanging out in the office. They keep talking about Rue, and they no one corrects them. Directly after that. So we're starting off with Ryu, and he said jump into late fierce. Yeah, late. That's pretty fierce. close. It's pretty close. Yeah. Attack your opposition with a late fierce, then follow with a low Jumping into late fierce. A water without any ice. With the, forward button. Here's the, move the newest the season of The Simpsons. And, and dirt. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> punch, kick, dragon punch combo. Get as close as possible Dog, you don't need a hundred combos off the same punch. fucking opener. You need one. Kick. One optimal D damage it. combo for the opener and the spacing. And that's it. If you're just jumping into fierce every time, just fucking use the, the highest damage combo out of a fucking jumping overhead fierce opener, you dipshit. Sorry. Yo, yo, real tech, why hasn't someone made a drink called Light Fierce? <laughs> that would be quite good. On your way up, hit your opponent again with a Delight Fierce. Then immediately follow with a hurricane kick. To help you with the timing. I don't think that Tatsu did anything. Okay, on him it did, but I think on the Sagat representative, it didn't do anything on him. <coughs> Fierce means absolutely nothing, dude. Yeah, honestly, also, yeah, like Declan's pointing out, jump-in combos in a Street Fighter 2 are fucking wild. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's like, a, if I remember right, there's like a pretty simple touch of death for Ken off of a cross-up uh, jump over setup. Like, you jump over the top of them, you do uh, a roundhouse kick in the air, uh, and the hitbox extends behind you. You tag them, and then you do like a single punch at DP, and then you somehow can like chain it back into another uh, another one once you do another jump over. Nice. Yeah. If this dipshit tries to fucking do a dive kick, you just tattoo him. That's it. <laughs> Ken can stun into death? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, right, right. <laughs> They're gonna do an accent for Dalsim at some point, aren't they? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh boy, yeah, are no. they? Dude, what is that guy's never bison? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the bison voice is. I'm excited. I'm called shot Russian. I'm calling it now. Ooh, could be. Could you play it? No, no, no. German. 
German, for sure. Definitely. He's going to do that. But could you could you play as Bison in the original Street Fighter 2? I don't remember. I think so. I think so. I mean, this isn't just for Street Fighter 2. Yeah. This is like Hyper though. Edition. Yeah, this is like one of the new ones. You can use either a low roundhouse kick or a throw. Is he going to do this for... He's going to do this for every character, huh? Oh, is it only in CE and later? It did say Champion Edition, didn't it? Okay, yeah, this is Turbo yeah. Champion, so we're, yeah, we'll, we'll probably get him. Yeah. When you knock down an opponent, wait for the exact moment to jump in with a short. When you land, I do I like that they're trying to, like, we're seeing the beginnings of concepts like safe jumps and meaties and shit. Just everyone was saying things like roundhouse and jump in with a light, which is, old, or I'm sorry, a short. Oh, God, this dude. He's got a special root combo for us. Yeah, like the fact that Which, like, oh gosh, Eric! <laughs> What's going on back there? By the way, what? What's going on the back of his hair? Did you all catch where he said Rue? Because everyone says Rue. That's why he said, hey everybody, I got a hot Rue combo for you. Yeah, so by the way, this is the combo that Ken can do that actually knocks into a stun if you do it right with the right setups. And then like... You can just fucking, yeah, you just kill him. They just showed it, yeah. There's just the TOD with Ryu and Ken, if I remember right. Both of them can do it. So, I hear you Tomo. Are you kidding? Tomo and I are like that. I'm sort of like... I'm glad they showed that, because that is famously wild. That is an incredible mullet! That is so much hair in the back! That was a powerful mullet. Oh. I'm back in speed on the ground, or in the air. I make up for in attack power. I, I also have very good reach on jump kicks. The Honda is like Hawaiian. He's American, basically. Yeah. Also useful are my grabs and invincible Man, this sucks. Headbutt. Not to mention my famous hundred hand slap. Yeah. Is that? The E is means the, Edmund. Is, That's it. It means Edmund. Yeah. Yeah. He's like he's like Hawaiian American Japanese. He's he speaks perfect English. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think E Honda really is like. <laughs> yeah. Man, this is great. Yeah. Oh, he's Pacific Islander. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. He was only Hawaiian in the Street Fighter Two movie. Okay. Punch. Good to know. And press the strong punch and jab buttons repeatedly as fast as you can, activating the hundred hand slap. Do you think they're gonna talk about doing piano roll inputs to get DPS off a of wake up consistently? No. That. If no they way. if they do, I'm gonna lose my shit. If they talk about like, all right, so you actually get a chance on negative edge of input on wake up. So if you just roll all three of them on, roll all three of them off, you get six attempts at doing a DP on wake up, but you can't control which kind comes out. Like if they did that, I would lose my goddamn mind. I would be like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this is a real tip. Are you shitting me? But like, they're not, they're not. I know they're not. <laughs> also, what up, Rudo? By the way, Rudo, who is in chat, is a real ass motherfucking Street Fighter 2 player. If I remember correctly, <laughs> like it's actually he's very good. Like I've, I've seen him play. Nice. Good stuff. Every combo in this entire video, I swear to God, every single one is just a jump in. Like they never lead with anything but a jump in combo. Oh, you couldn't piano in Street Fighter 2? Really? Oh, you could. I'm convinced in one of the versions of Street Fighter 2 you could do a piano wake up. I'm the most successful fraud. Oh, you. <laughs> you card. <sighs> Dude, these are all just like, have you tried doing a cross up jump in? Like if it hits, you're gonna, you're gonna fuck them up real bad. Which I'm pretty sure is just Street Fighter 2 in general. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can piano stuff like a DP on wake up. Okay. Looks disturbing. Though I move slowly on the ground, I am quick in the air. When I use what the my rolling attack. Block is Brazilian! I don't even think this is racism. I think this is they're trying to do like the generic minion voice from every cartoon of this era. <laughs> you know? This guy boss? Tell me what you want me to do to Sonic. <laughs> Like, it's that guy. <laughs> Cortex, what will we do today? <laughs> it's like a toned down that guy. Like, yeah, toned down Peter Lorre. Thank you. This goes on for a bit, huh? <laughs> hey, it's me, Catman. 
Let's get ready to cut him up. Oh god. Let's cut to the chase. When you use the cut man's cut laser. <laughs> Why don't you cut that shit out? Okay, low forward. Don't forget, by the way, in case you were confused, low forward is not that that's not a 3M. That is a 2M. A two weak medium kick. That Fuck, man. Uh, I still can't believe they just called heavy kick roundhouse. <laughs> I just love the idea. I love the idea of there being a roundhouse button that, like, never actually does a roundhouse. Uh, what do you think the R on the controller stands for? Um, so that's... Mm, yeah, okay. I'll take it. and the jab punch button. That's what the they were labeled on the arcade cab? Amazing. Your Putting him or her I've heard like light and fierce. I have, have I have stopped. never heard roundhouse for heavy kick. <laughs> and then press fierce to bite. Now here's the replay. Oh yes, please show me that again. That was a different piece of footage entirely. <laughs> what? Here's a variation of the rolling attack fake out for opponents slightly farther away. Yeah. Go through the same procedure, holding the joystick away from your opponent for two seconds. But when you press forward on are the joystick, hit the strong instead of the jab button. Then uh, press fierce oh, to fight before. Are they just before. explaining charge attacks? Are they explaining, like, doing a neutral fake out into a grab? I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a tip. Yeah, okay, that's true, actually. Yeah, the most confusing of the kicks is forward kick for medium. Your opponent guessing and on the defensive. You also, yeah, you've got your six kind of kicks. You've got your igneous, medium, <laughs> wood. <laughs> wood. <laughs> what? You charge wood, turns in the log kick. And bite him again. Here's the replay. Oh, shit. <laughs> what if he just stabbed him while he ran up to this dude and kept running? Come on, you got this guy, right? It's up to me. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm glad I turned the volume up for that. New combos and strategies. Whoa, let's play a play different my game. Offense to the max or don't play me at all. Sure, my defense is great, but we're not here to defend. We're here to win. Play my With offense my to the max? Flash kick. And these combos and I'm, strategies. Am I off base? I thought Guile was generally like a pretty defensively played character. In like newer ones at least, because you have to do your charge moves, you know? Jump at your opponent, holding back on your joystick as all <laughs> Yeah, like he's literally a zoner. Like God, someone just tier. someone just edit this hit video to have just the pointing to the head meme saying offensive guy. <laughs> you can charge while jumping forward. Exactly. Here's the real time move. That was a pretty sick combo. Rushdown Guile was pretty strong back then because he had ridiculous buttons. Huh, how about that? I don't know Street Fighter 2 that well. That's one of those fighting games that I just kind of uh, never, never really got too involved in. I was uh, a little too young, I think, and that was on uh, Super Nintendo and all that. Like I just didn't get fighting games, you know. If they actually got the tip from Tomo, I assume they're legit. And it's true, right? Because wasn't this like allegedly a super good player, like the number one U.S. player at the time? Now here's the whole combo. Is Tomo good? Maybe. Best of the time. I mean, yeah, I assume someone's better now. The world has changed. The amount of competition it's has skyrocketed. You have to fight so many more motherfuckers now <laughs> to be the best. Jump your opponent, holding back on your joystick to charge and hitting with a late fierce. Press high fierce, then immediately press towards your opponent and press the fierce punch button again. I do like Dial late fierce. Yeah, these corner, tips actually seem legit, like, hit. jump into a late fierce. Again, they're not, like, saying, you know, like, oh, yeah, do a safe jump on wake up for, you know, a good amount of meaty, stuff this like that, but... Work on small characters like Chun -Li or Blanca, but is very effective against large uh, they're saying late fierce because late fierce, then hit low they're jab, saying, like, delay jab, pressing the button until you're about to hit him. Yeah, I think the idea is, like, 
press it so that the active frames are when you're like interacting with them, but then you cancel the recovery frames vis a vis the landing. I don't know if you can do that in Street Fighter 2, but that's like a safe jump generally. Vegas! If Balrog tries to turn punch through your projectile, you'll see him turn around. That's when you do a standing roundhouse kick. If he's dizzy, yeah. jump in and hit him with combos. If not, jump I back do like jump in and hit him with combos. I like that tip. <laughs> of like, if your opponent's stunned, fucking kill him, idiot. <laughs> Get there and make something happen. Get there and kick their ass. I do like that they're talking about matchups, though. That's like shockingly. I think that's shockingly deep for this for this point of a VHS tape, right? Compared to what we've seen before. Oh yeah, no. Of the three, of these three, this is definitely the most competent gameplay-wise, I'd say. Yeah, this one seems to like actually know shit. It, it knows it knows shit about fuck. Like as opposed to those other videos that were like in Donkey Kong, you play as an ape. Like that was their best tip. <laughs> How cool. Got it, man. Urban James! Combo. Oh, hi, James. Oh, guile. Double sonic boom, Pull Dude, game screen over there this is a brand playing. new combo right. just made for this tape. The double sonic oh, boom, re dizzy. When you've got your opponent dizzy in a corner, walk up as close as possible and crouch right next to him and charge. Then hit him with a low jab, a jab sonic boom, then immediately charge up for the next sonic boom while you hit them with a standing fierce uppercut. Follow that with a fierce sonic boom and Okay, I'm not like I'm not a pro Street Fighter 2 player by any means, but it very much seems like the kind of game where here's what actually happens, if you get dizzied in the corner, you lose that round, is what it seems like. <laughs> Cause it seems like almost anyone would be able to just very easily kill you in the corner off of a stun. Secret technique, dick assassination. If Zongief tries to slow Yeah, like if you have someone stunned, you win. With a low Ten. roundhouse <laughs> kick. Or low forward kick. Yeah, in first two iterations of SF2, you got stunned, you were dead. Yeah, I can never remember. What's the one people play now? Because I it's Oh, uh, it's, it's not just Turbo, I think, now. It's like some specific version of it. Is it Super, super Turbo is the one people will play now competitively? Yeah, that would, that would explain why when people talk about Street Fighter 2 at the arcade and in tournaments, they say ST. I never put that together. That's why it's listed as ST. Because it's Super Turbo. Fuck, I'm dying. <laughs> Tangle with me and you've got problems, dude. I'm fast, I've got a fireball, and my dragon punches take off loads of energy. My fierce dragon punch has They awesome take breed. off my loads of energy. Out of tough, up -close situations. Probably. Me, man. <laughs> You'll be hit for sure. Plus, I got a hurricane to put me right where I want to be. Close enough to do some major damage. The blonde the person I feel subtweeted right now. Be in your face. <laughs> You need a chance for me, kid! They like surf all the time, right? Ken's like, all the time. Really I haven't seen the ocean once I mean, in my life, motherfucker. <laughs> Ken and Rue combos, baby! Then immediately follow with a dragon punch, hitting the fierce button. You'll be able to hit larger characters four times, and smaller characters three times with this combo. One thing I do remember is that I'm pretty sure doing a dragon punch on a Super Nintendo controller gave me hand problems for the rest of the rest of my life. Cause, man, have you ever tried to do a fucking DP on that controller? This shit is impossible. Oh my god! Like stop, like fucking stopping at down right or down left on an SNES controller is a nightmare. This combination should be good for three or four continuous hits, but does not work on Chun Li, Blanca, E Honda, or Bison. Jump at your opponent. Hitting this precise spot. Is it a cross up? Uh, yep, okay. It's a cross up roundhouse into a big combo. You have literally already shown us a touch of death off of this with Ken. You don't need to show us another combo, big dog. Like, you got us a TOD. We're good. We don't need another. <laughs> if timed correctly, no character can counter your short kick strategy. After knocking down the reason people think into fighting game D-pads. Shit, maybe. <laughs> like D-pads and joysticks, I both just can't play fighting games on for my life. By a dragon punch. Here's what happens if your opponent tries to do anything but block I am glad that DP motion they just showed was incorrect, by the way. <laughs> this is affectionately Yeah, most of the time if you go to forward, games will still auto-correct and accept it as a DP input, it's true. Down, you must hit this exact spot on the neck with the roundhouse button. 
Press the high jab as soon as you land. Then almost at the same time, activate your throw. Thinking that you missed with your jab, your adversary... Again, I just, I don't throw. get why after you show, like, am I confused on this? Like, they've shown an overhead cross-up fierce kick, like, opener, right? Like, they've done that. You can and, and how to kill off of it into a stun. Deliver a standing forward kick. Like, they've shown that you can just kill someone off this if you do the fucking fierce and the thing, it stuns them, and then you just do it again. Why are you showing us worse combos? <laughs> This is a strategy used specifically against Dalsim. As Ken, you have an ideal fighting People block at different times. What? Out oh, this is what advantage. to do if they block your cross-up. You ah, I see. Press a low short kick, which effectively cancels out all of Dalsim's Ah, attack, they're showing how to do a block string to push. Drill. It's a cover. Ah, I see. If he tries that move, you I missed that punch. part. Damn, that's an actual tip. Fuck. <laughs> Give them the noose to hang themselves with. It's great. Feels good. Just fucking <laughs> poke them out with footsies and then fucking kill them with a dragon punch when they jump in. The, the Ken way. <laughs> this is weird how Ken has not changed after all of these years. You can cover more distance than they can. Always keep an eye on the distance, knowing that your dragon punch can be a devastating weapon. Wasn't Dahl seem like super good in Street Fighter 2? I'm not sure what version, but I mean, he does have like a really good angle dive kick as, an, as like a command normal. So like, probably super good. And reach. I'm not my only Hella good? Okay. Yeah, I mean like- My improved oh. whirlwind kick enables me to charge in the air and begin my kick when bouncing off the wall. Now, my higher whirlwind kick will foil the traps and snares set by my foes. My fireball will keep enemies off balance. And my <laughs> Sorry, every time she does this, I die. Many an arch enemy to the land of his ancestors. There was one sentence where she just like threw down like a mean like <laughs> in the middle of it. <laughs> it was really weird. Like, I'm ready with my fast kicks. <laughs> You're going to jump in with some. I'm going to jump into light fierce. Hey there, everybody. It's me, Ryu from Streets. I'm gonna have to show Re I'm gonna have to show Ryu from Streets after this, right? Just in case anyone in chat is not familiar with the greatest Street Fighter video of all time. You better. Yeah. Fucking Ryu from Streets. Man. Bow boom. I, I do like how everyone was like, I don't know, this doesn't seem that bad. And then she was like, land of my ancestors. And everyone's like, never mind, this sucks. Jump at your opponent with a late fierce. Then hit the low forward kick button and a high fierce punch. All in one continuous motion. Here's what it looks like in real time. Lounging dude in the background. My favorite part about that statue is they put it in a ton of different games. Um, there's actually... Jump at your opponent with a uh, well, well, I mean, it's based off of a real thing, obviously. But um, uh, Capcom in particular, they put it in Asura's Wrath, I think, was the most recent one I can think of. It was like in a screenshot. But then also Asura's Wrath had, you know, the Street Fighter DLC. And also Asura's Wrath had, like some point where in a cutscene they show like Asura in the future and it is literally the opening scene of Street Fighter 2 with the two guys like bouncing around with being encircled by a crowd. So good. <laughs> I mean the reclining Buddha is a, a very very iconic image yeah. of the guy right before he dies. Mm -hmm. So it's very like commonly used imagery in general. Yeah. I was just thinking, Capcom, Capcom references it and specifically this, this game's use of it. I mean, if Asura's Wrath didn't have a kind of Buddha in there down. somewhere it when it's like 90% uh, yeah. Buddhist, it uh, would be strange. If you've never watched Asura's Wrath, I do recommend it. You can just find a long play, or if you want, you can listen to my dumbass and g Ops dumbass, Vickis' dumbass, and Kubo's dumbass. Uh, joke about it, Geop has that LP posted, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's a really mediocre game to play, but it is a fucking visual feast. And you have to listen to Mishra's... Is it Mishra? Other dude. His excellent, like, just groans whenever he gets hit. Also, yeah, they did, they did call it Whirlwind Kick, even though Chun-Li does, in fact, say the name of the move when she does. <laughs> Once you got the timing and distance down, you can concentrate on the R. Reaction. You need to ah, develop the reflexes thing so that you can react to what your opponent does. The developer considered a spiritual successor to God Hand. 
weird. It's a very you weird thing. To the hey. point where the moves and combinations are second it's nature, strange. so you can go beyond the technique. I hate the that. Of your like, right, there's right. actually a lot of good like tips and shit on this. You no, know they won't be expecting. Mm -hmm. You know, the same thing I'm always doing to you. Like they're it's legit talking guy. about reading people no, and like this doing reactions and playing like Yomi and shit. I'm starting to like this guy. Whoa. Okay, so I am not exactly what you might be calling a speed demon. I am a wrestler yeah. by nature. Good at what you might be calling getting up close and personal. <laughs> My spinning clothesline gets the results. Spinning clothesline. Of course, all I need is to grab you once. Once you get a taste of my spinning pile driver, you are what you might I do be like this uh, original Kaput. Gundam like soundtrack with like the horns and the slow stuff. Like I could Jump see it transitioning into Valiant Char anytime. Or Gallant Char, my bad. Motherfucker didn't even talk about real Soviet damage even once. So I'm just gonna take a take a guess here. I'm gonna guess Zangief isn't super great in this game when you have someone who can like reach across the screen and you have a billion fucking fireballs. I mean, like, one of them is his After knocking your yes, opponent like, down, Dalsim will win a Zangief fight. Yeah, Every time. I, I, I mean, I don't know though, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe Zangief is actually like super fucking fire. I mean, I'm sure there's at least one dude who plays Zangief at a high level now, because that's pretty amazing. He's really good in certain matchups. Huh. Maybe one of those matchups is Blanca. There is, he has always been bad except for the sole exception of one region specific version where he has a full screen 360 glitch. <laughs> oh yeah, also no no, literally no one was able to do any of Zangief's supers. <laughs> or anything on the fucking SNES controller. There is no way they're gonna recommend doing a fucking 360. <laughs> Pony is the Super Turbo Geef Pro. Nice. You can mastermind I mean, like, for what it's worth, Matlock, if you were playing against, like... <laughs> if you're, like, playing against people who have never done, like, competitions and stuff like this before, right? Because remember, this is before there was that kind of, like, finding your locals. Like, you couldn't just tweet at somebody and be like, yo, where's the local scene? Or something like that. So, for all you know, this is the first time some of these people have, you know, seen a cross-up overhead. And they're like, whoa, what the fuck? You have to block this high and behind you? So you could just, like, probably shred some people. Like, back in the day. Yeah, the local scene was the arcade for a while. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Zangief Zang is good in Alpha 2 and Alpha 3. To nice. The direction of Top tier in Alpha 3. Driver, now so we know. Can keep his opponent in the corner. Move the joystick nice. in a 360 degree rotation. Move the joystick. Or counterclockwise. Zangief's pile driver will Up jump defense. right or left on the screen. Of for fighting the specifically, but they're fine for... Video games, platformers, but, yeah. yeah, platformers, RPGs. Um, if you're playing some kind of strategy game and you're not using a because keyboard and mouse, they're fine. Attack power of my punches and kicks. My greatest weapon is unseen, for it lies within. This it is called patience. Sucks. Key to my transcendence. My reach. Sucks. Until sheer frustration. Often <laughs> Big ass. An unfortunate mistake. That's like but a yeah, pitched down Apu. You're wow. right. Oh, no, 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 that no, was no, definitely no. extremely just. <sighs> that was a white guy trying to do an apu and pitching it down. Hi, Chi. That was gross. I told y'all. I told y'all it was going to be the worst once we hit Dalsim. Try drilling two or three times before simply walking Remember when Capcom USA liked to say he could breathe fire because he ate a lot of curry? Now, I do not remember that. <laughs> but that sounds like it sucks. <laughs> What's your strategy? Fucking spam dive kick. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you can use a quick, low, short kick to slide to your opponent and throw him because he's expecting you to slide long. Okay, so fuck him up with spacing into a grab. Yeah, that's that bullshit that Andy does to me 500 times at every fight cave day. I swear to God, he. fast on my feet, just not so hard in the air. My turn punch and dash punch will knock your block off if you don't see him coming. Are they trying to do like a Morgan Freeman? Strategy is the key to my success. A few rounds with me, and most of them leave saying, 
I could have been a contender. It sounds like they're trying to do like a young Morgan Freeman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jump at your opponent with a late fierce. While is that a white guy? I mean, like, I'm sure it's a white guy doing black, right? Like, that's, yeah, that's, that's a given. That is absolutely, yeah, it fucking sucks. The question is, what voice were they going for for Boxer? It's good for four continuous hits. What was that even an attempt at? Do you think, do you think the guy who did that voice has literally ever met a black person in real life? Press and hold all three punch buttons or all the silence of the call speaks volumes. <laughs> then release. The turn punch is indestructible for a split second, letting you punch your way through projectiles. Indestructible. Indestructible. <laughs> indestructible on wake up. You can keep your turn punch in reserve, ready to go by Before the term iframes were a thing. Buttons. I don't know, I think the word invincibility existed in like 1994. I'm pretty sure that word was there. I, I think we've used invincible. The same principle holds true for an even more powerful punch. Hold down the kick or punch buttons for 50 seconds, then release to do a final power punch. I will admit, I will admit, I have seen jump people fall to this in highlight videos, and it is the best when someone gets hit by that, like, incredibly long charge punch. immediately do a dash by hitting the short kick button. This combo is good for two... Yeah, that's probably also, that's probably correct for you, though. You probably got that exactly. of the move in real time. Was it actually, you had to hold it for 50? This cheap strategy throw move takes a final turn punch. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Damn. Okay, it is 50. That makes those highlight videos way better. Close distance and hit him with the fierce punch button. Then hit with a low jab, following up Balrog's dash by immediately hitting the short kick button and simultaneously tapping the strong or fierce punch buttons. You should be able to distract your opponent with a jab that never lands while you set him up for a headbutt. Notice the rhythm of the sequence in real time. Okay, I do like that they're saying, like, yeah, start the block string. Your opponent will probably be good enough to block it, so you're going to need to do a mix-up. You're going to need to start grabbing him after a hit or two. My claw gives me an extra reach that many of my opponents lack. But my hidden strength lies in patience and staying out of my opponent's reach. What when accents impatient and has is this? To attack, ha, I counter at just the right moment with just the right move. Like my <laughs> it's I me, Vega. I'm here. <laughs> Hello. My combinations are yeah, designed it, for multiple... It's someone who's never heard anyone with, like, an actual enemies. Spanish accent before. I think... I think maybe it's supposed to be... Like, I thought it was just, like, boastful man, but I think... Yeah, like, yeah, Vega's supposed to be... Um... He is from Spain. He's not... He's straight up from Spain. Yeah. I guess they were trying to do, like, Antonio Banderas, maybe, but really bad, and... Hoofa, the 90s were a time. Yeah. Do you think Vega and M. Bison will be the same voice? Because I think M. Bison is going to be very stereotypical German voice. Now, the one the one I'm really interested in, if I'm honest, Sagat. <laughs> yeah. What is yeah, because you be? think they've ever heard a... Uh, like... I... Lure your yeah. opponent into attack by moving in and out of Actually range. forgot that Sagat was Thai for a second there stand. somehow. Yes. Yeah, if you ever think they've the ever heard down. anyone with a Thai accent before. Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Do you think it's going to be like Vietnamese accent? Is that an accent you can have? Does anyone play I mean, Vega yeah. in Street Fighter 2? I have no idea. Jump at him instead, Maybe. Pressing the fierce or strong button and at this point, throw him in mid -air. Oh yeah, Vega gets air throws. <laughs> Claw's the best guy. Yeah, I was thinking he would be. Because he can like bounce all around the screen. He's probably just really hard to pilot, but real good. I make up for in power and tenacity. I am slow on the ground. Just another just another generic Drake yeah, of the ninety nine dragon's ass voice. Yeah. That's about the tone I'd expect from a seven foot tall man. My tiger uppercuts. Hey everybody, it's me, Sagat, from Streets. <laughs> from Streets. 
He's only uh, in this is terrible. For I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fucking when go ahead and pull me, up Ryu from Streets and just have that ready. Mm-hmm. Eventually, I will you know, everybody. <laughs> when you're fairly close to your opponent, jump with the roundhouse kick button. Then follow that with a low short I feel like a lot of these are just kind of combos with like Okay, actually we're getting pretty damn we're almost we're almost to the end of this one. Whoa. It's felt very long. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. Um okay, so quick vote. Quick vote after we do Ryu from Streets, because everyone needs to see that. Um and there's three of you in call who aren't me, so I'll, I'll let you decide. Uh are we going to do Atari Jaguar, the cave, do the math infomercial full length first? Or Ugh. Donkey Kong Country Exposed. Because, <laughs> I mean... Oh, fuck. They're both good options. I, I only got... I got only time for one more. That both sound very tempting. Oh. I hear DKC Exposed is incredibly 90s. And I think I actually owned that VHS. I have to be honest, I think I'm interested in exposing the Kong for his crimes. Yeah, Alright, I'll take it, I'll take it. Yeah, we'll go for that. Okay, chat seems to be on board as well, so I can dig it. Blast him. I love how Sagat just kind of hops around in this game. It's like my secret favorite, the way he just kind of like bounces around. If he tries he's to turn well, he's got, he's got ups. He's like seven feet tall. He's got to be able to jump real good. I mean, he could probably jump over that plane if he wanted. Yeah. I bet he could jump over like all of those old dudes what in was, one go. Dectalon, what was the Tiger Knee input? Was it like a reverse DP or like a right to down DP or something? Oh, they went for like G.I. Joe villain. It's me, Cobra Commander. It's a little dose of venom. Oh, it was a 2369. Ah, it is a... Quarter plus eight. It is a three-eight circle. Ah, and my head stomp will allow me to dive towards the heads of my victims again for a second crushing blow. I mean, M. Bison is supposed to be, like, completely undiscernible where he's from, so... Yeah. Shadowloo is in Southeast Asia, but that's like the best they give you. Mm -hmm. Gotta put your big skull fortress somewhere. I mean, he is yeah. just he is just like villain incarnate, you know. So I can I can dig it. Also, I do like life is good. <laughs> Reminds me of fucking Monsoon from Mickey Rising. <laughs> just, life's good, Jack. <laughs> Left hand rule! <laughs> Nature's force! Life is good, Jack! <laughs> it's really good. Hey, Sundowner, I'm at the Burger King. Do you want anything? <laughs> I'm gonna pick up these 20 nuggets for like $3. I'm not buying you 200 nuggets, Sundowner. We've been over this. Looks I'm like it's time for Jack. With my inner child. They tell me. <laughs> they tell me. <laughs> Oh shit! Great. <sighs> Didn't do that, huh? Like a Street Fighter. Watch this, and you'll see what I mean. These general strategies can make the difference between winning occasionally and winning consistently. So listen up. You have to know each character's strengths and weaknesses, as well as your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. You have to know all your counter moves to also just fucking attack. punch him into forget the corner these, until they're stunned. Continue to punch them. <laughs> know your character's prime attack distances. Each character has a Okay, that's actually that's really good problem. advice actually. It depends on the character yeah, and who he or she is Yeah, know your spacing, know your Well, people people focus on combos before they learn Always neutral and stuff like that. And, how much. and then of course you, you know get you fucking weird cases like me where I study neutral nonstop for like 2 months and then my neutral's way better than every other part of my game, <laughs> which sucks. That's what Yoshi's like, "Wow, your neutral's really good. Your offense fucking sucks, man." Like, I'm sorry. I'll work on it. <laughs> you gotta think. You gotta think like a street fighter. Go fucking punch a random guy and start some shit. <laughs> you gotta get in the mindset. If you main Blanca, you must start this encounter by biting them and then shocking them somehow. Keep grabs as part of your entire video. 
Remember, you gotta jump into no late rules. bite and In then hit him goes. with the quick taze. Practice is all important. But only if you practice to improve. I mean, for what it's worth, I think the thing that'll get me farther in mystery tournaments than good neutral is the fact that, thanks to Andy and my fight cage adventures, I have played like 400 fighting games in the last month. <laughs> God, Cyberbots rules. Now I'm just thinking about Cyberbots again and how fucking great that game is. If you aren't able to establish a lead, then look for opportunities to get into your prime attack distance. And finally, keep the pressure I'm just thinking about how good having an eight-way dash in video games is and how much I'm excited for Fuse Zamasu. Or Merge. Merge Zamasu, my bad. Vegito's a fusion. Zamasu's a merge. Everyone knows this, Ty. <laughs> Everyone knows this. Follow me. Whoa, nice filter, dog. You better not have any combos back here. We broke into the Capcom offices to steal their combos. To an near you. Oh Street shit! Fighter 2 just got hotter with <laughs> Capcom's all new Super Street Fighter 2. The rumors are true. And entering ah, my favorite character, Fuck. Are four outrageous, <laughs> never before seen characters. Thunderhawk, over seven feet two inches of American Indian with a fighting style all his own. Cammy. Girl wonder of the British Special Forces with a cloudy pass. Oh yeah, Cammy was from the long, Yeah, it's weird to remember some of these, right? When you're like, oh yeah, Cammy wasn't just always there. Like Faye Long, yeah, I knew came, came later, but like Cammy, I feel like was just always there, right? Like Cammy, Cammy didn't just not exist at any point. Like, it's especially with like one and two. But then you can realize, like, where the fuck did almost everyone from three go? Um, I want just Q. Showing up again. I want Q. All I'm saying is I would like to again be able to play as a Buki and just repeatedly spam Neckbreaker against my friend Nick until he rage quits. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Books move such bullshit. Block low. What? Just block low, man. It's a hit throw. Just fucking block it, you idiot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I keep getting hit. <laughs> Stop jumping. I will neck breaker you every time you touch the ground. <laughs> it was really good. All right. Well, that was a fun video. So let's do Ryu from Streets and then we'll get over to Donkey Kang. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> this is Ryu from Streets. Did you know my favorite things are jumping into light fierce, hey there, everybody. stale bread, water without any ice, the newest season of The Simpsons. And dirt. See you in Street Fighter V, everybody. I love the video so much. Hey there, everybody. All right. Whoa, dudes. My name's Funky Kong. Spoilers. There's a new funky mode in this video. Uh, let me go ahead and... Sing. I find really good shit as far as videos go. Ryu from Streets is amazing. The Ryu from Streets is probably my, my best, like, just serendipitous finding that one but it's still. so good man water without any ice and dirt <laughs> just just the ryu is the most boring man alive it reminds me of when maddie and myself made a few jokes about how someone liked more milk in newspaper comics oh <sighs> all right well does everyone have uh donkey kong exposed and let's just get this one at zero so just pause it and back up oh yeah, yeah let me find it all right i i just posted it in the shapes museum so oh, you really liked it yeah yeah Oh. oh, yeah, I can see that now. You can. Ah, 1080p VHS. Nice. Yeah, that's what I want. You know, I need that recording. I need that fucking mm -hmm. 1080p 60fps VHS, baby. All right, is everyone good? Ready? Yes? Yeah. Yep. Ready. All right, three, two, one, kick it. <laughs> of a graphic and animal nature? What? What? Oh like, man, we're gonna see Donkey Kong. Are we gonna see Donkey Kong? Fucks. Look. So rounded, and you're gonna really yeah. think that it's a game that's a generation ahead of its time. Yeah. yeah. Nude Kong. Last second timing stuff in there where you have to jump real quick. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised at the kind of uh, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country is. No, I don't think this tape. No, this tape is probably not race. This was Nintendo. They're usually pretty good on that shit. At least for these tapes. It is unbelievably fucking 90s, though. Man, remember when they used that Donkey Kong suit for shit? Like the original Smash Brothers uh, yeah. commercial? Where they're all running through a field and then Yoshi fucking trips him and punches Donkey Kong in the head or some shit? 
Okay, yeah, no, never mind, Ryuta got me. Yeah, they did make punch out. Shit. Right. Fuck. Wait, is that guy the guy from, uh... Guys, we finally made it. Nintendo of America, Shit. the fortress. Let's find out what Donkey Kong Country is all about. I swear I know that guy. Let's do what it. is Donkey Kong Country? Also, pay That's attention. Yeah. If you pay it's attention, there's a million country. bananas hey, fucking no, no, everywhere in this on. whole video. <laughs> there's literally a banana in like every goddamn shot. I'm not kidding. Just look for bananas. They're everywhere. Yeah. Oh, hey, that one's pretty on the nose, huh? That one's that one's free. I want in. I want on the inside. And me and you, pal, we go back a long way. Come on. What do you think? How long does it, time so they use okay, the phrase monkey in Why is it everyone in these videos breaks into Corporation HQs? Well, that's a very easy question as someone who has been involved in one of these videos, but for the medical industry, it's because they make the people at the uh, in the offices record it and they don't give us any money to like travel or any shit. Like they're just like, hey, we need a promotional video for this new piece of equipment. Shoot it here. <laughs> like, a, oh, well, how much money do we have? You can borrow our camcorder. Great. <laughs> Where's Bill Trinan, though? We're in the vet treehouse already. Where is he? Oh, shit, the story. Here we go. Let's learn the lore. Oh, Good, Dan. I want to know something about this story. Basically, Wing we uh, the had a chance a to kind of create a new story for Donkey Kong. We gave him a world to live in, some supporting characters. Um, foremost among those, Diddy Kong, the little Kong wannabe monkey guy. Little Kong wannabe? Um, he's a cool little dude who follows Kong around and tries to be just like him. The story Yo, actually so up with Diddy, the uh, sitting in the jungle, guarding the banana board. No sooner does well, the uh, storm start, nightfall, Kremlings come, uh, stuff Diddy Kremlings, in the barrel. Kremlings are the tribe of evil reptilian Bro, what is a beings that inhabit the island, and they're very envious of Kong's banana stockpile. As we all are. Yes, as anyone would be. Yeah. And they stuff Diddy in the barrel, punt it in the bushes, the and Kong, grab all the bananas. The Kremlings are the proletariat. Take off, take off the, the Kongs are the ones that snap. Next day, Kong wakes up. Where's my bananas? Uh, he goes out to find him. Where's my bananas? Where, well, apparently, they're all over the Nintendo's office. So we get the Kremlins. That's me. When I, that's what I, you know, that that famous. Did you have a favorite? Uh, that famous Donkey characters? Kong line. Where's my bananas? Damn it. We got Cranky. Cranky's the star of the race. Oh gosh, someone has taken Kong all of my bananas. Alive. I'll be honest. He's just the cave and he just, he's just like, ah, ah, beans. Have, uh, I'll be real, one of the fucking worst things about this ketogenic cutting cycle, I literally cannot even think about bananas or I get in trouble. And it sucks. I want to have a banana so bad. You don't, you don't even know. <laughs> okay, good. I was wondering, maybe I could, uh... Take a look at the game? Yeah, sure. Right yeah. over here. Yeah, sure. Take These a look. This so easy. Yeah. This is our mod. Why is it this pink is sometimes? These guys, like, I don't... Uh, these guys test Dude. Donkey Kong Country for a living. We have hundreds of areas in Donkey Kong Country. And these guys have Whoa, to that was area, a bunch of camera angles each. and none of them we were right. All the bugs. This <laughs> none of them were right. There is eight chips on this, four meg each, which the makes it that? a 32 <laughs> meg game. The biggest game Check out this thing. Um, this 32 megs allows us to do a variety of Hey, check this out. And, uh, we are not going to be able to sell this. <laughs> levels, jungle levels, I guess a better thing would have been like, levels, hey, check this level, out. Level, We're rare. Levels, We're never going to learn to stop doing this shit with Donkey Kong. We are going to repeatedly force whatever company to jam more hardware in the fucking cart to let us play our stupid game. Every time. God. I will never get over the fact that Donkey Kong 64, the reason they had to include the expansion pack was because for some reason there was a memory leak that only occurred when it wasn't in and they could never solve it so they just had to convince nintendo to do a pack in with it right awesome. apparently that like rare itself said that was uh not true really I don't know if yeah no like one of the people who worked on this is like no that's just a weird rumor hmm. How about that? I will say DK64 is one of the buggiest games I've ever seen in my life when it's being speedrun, and it's amazing. If you've never seen the speedrun of Donkey Kong 64, it's incredible. You will see a large eight backflip and nail himself in the head with an orange grenade, blasting himself through a wall, falling into a boss fight. It's awesome. Because we're based in Twycross, we have uh, a zoo about two miles away. Ah, uh, you went to the zoo. To the zoo, yeah, and had a, a good look at the zoo. I, I was, I like the video stopped looking at the nineties for a second, hey, and now I've no. Hey, Wait, are they really? At, are they really like saying we went and did some research? We went to the zoo and like looked at some animals. Which is pretty cool, I would say. <gasps> Oh, that's the so, con- Oh my god, that's what, what the con looks like? Well, Mold, ape. 
Generate a model. George Zachary from Silicon Graphics. I was wondering if you could help me out a little bit. Download a game. Sure, it's uh, it's it's a really cool game. You wouldn't download an ape. <laughs> I would in a heartbeat. Don't Watch you me. fucking dare say Watch me anti-piracy no, ads. You get a download of hundred apes. An adapter for my home Nintendo. Not at all. In fact, uh, when the <sighs> game was created on the challenge, it was basically specially output to the Super Nintendo game system. So it basically comes in a cartridge, you stick in the system, and you play. How do we make the, the roundness, the 3D? Actually, it's created on the on the challenge, first in a wireframe. Actually, then you grow shade them, or you can fong shade them, and then you actually texture map them. And you can even try linearly bitmap interpolate. Like, okay, for the record, though, uh, I remember this shit being cool like as hell when I was a kid. Yeah, I remember hearing right. about oh, this and just thinking it was basically just fucking magic. Is, like, and if you go back and play those games, like, fully okay, the first graphics. one doesn't hold so up the best in the world because it has some weird hitbox issues and shit Terminator 2, um, yes. but like it's still okay it's still, good. Good, it's still fun like most of it is still good yeah. Yeah. and then like two and three are really good the, the thing about two is two is unfortunate to race but incredible to speed run but also it's maybe one of the hardest speed runs i've ever seen in my life like the donkey kong 2 country 2 speed run is bananas and i don't damn it it's really wild <laughs> I would like. I would I like. I kind of actively great. dislike Kong Three for what it's worth, though. I like Kong Three, um, but it was very gimmick heavy, and a lot of people were super turned off by that. And I get it. That's that's so totally fair. Yeah, yeah. I actively dislike that about it. Yep. And that's again, that's fair. If that's not what you wanted out of the Donkey Kong Country game, you know, that's what it delivers. So if you don't like that, yeah, you're just you're gonna hate it. Started off and just bowl over some of the tougher enemies that might have gave him a problem. Hey, you hungry? You want a banana? No. Well, I guess I can show you something else too. This is a snow level later on in the game. It is this snowing. Is, yeah. Donkey Kong can now There's also Donkey ride, Kong. You know, ride thin barrels and Kitty Kong. 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 I forget exactly what, what he's called. Is it Kitty Kong? It's Kitty Kong. Kong. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that tiny Almost ape. He's the worst. Yeah, yeah Kitty Kong is the is the yelling baby. Shooter an ape. Yeah, I will say, I do like a lot of the techniques you can do with Kitty Kong, like the water skipping and shit. But yeah, no, he is an insufferable child baby. You got a bunch of free men. Let's go talk to Isaac. Just ruinously Isaac, terrible hello. ape. Hello. Being hey, by Donkey Kong. Good, I've been on the old. Finally, someone solved it. It's me, yeah, Donkey snow. Kong. Yeah, we have more snow. Here's okay. a secret from Rare. What we're gonna do is himself, we're gonna Dr. Jump John Rare. That's really the thing, too, right? I can't really roast the game testers in this video too much, because, again, with, like, you know, industry people and call game testers, especially back in the day, may be not treated the best. No. Maybe not the best. Oh, Oh shit, if we can find that Sega tape about training game testers, we might want to uh, watch yeah, that one right. if you've never seen it. That one's amazing. Oh, you're very good. Oh, training no. game testers? Yeah, there's one that's like literally about applying to okay, be a game tester, and half of it's about how much it fucking it sucks, and how it's the worst, and like, yeah, they ask people, they're like, hey, so what what games do you play on your downtime when you're not at work? And the guy's like, I really cannot play games when I'm at home at all. I just practice Kung Fu in the parking lot. <laughs> By the way, I'm not kidding, there are a couple dudes who practice Kung Fu in the the parking lot because they can't deal with being game testers for another goddamn minute. So we need to Damn, you look at that video. You're not going to live anywhere else. You thought it was going to be a waste of your time, didn't you? Fried green bananas. Bananas out gratin. Banana. Sorry. Whoa. Oh, sorry. I just had a really large urge to yell bananas. Don't know what was going on there. Where did that one came from? This music, for example, is very upbeat. Okay, this is Sega Test 1996 Sega of America Game Tester Training Video. Now, in this level, you've just I have found it. Really hard level yeah, in this is the we training people music, like as, to refer to it as training. Level, it's kind yeah. of a reward. Yeah, it's weird. Because the music is so good. We'll also, yeah, I'd be down to watch that one too, now, since this is only like being in Japan for many, many years is game music on CD. Like five more America, minutes. Maybe the music hasn't been quite up. Not even that. So on the, this guy on the radio is every daytime. You're gonna lose the dude. Man. <laughs> It's incredible, actually. Where was the graphic footage? Yeah, where was the graphic footage? Wait, Did I miss Donkey Kong fucking? They just film a car crash at the end of this. Just keep it in. Man, did I look away when Donkey Kong fucked? Man, I gotta watch the whole tape it. again. Man, got to rewind. This sucks. Oh, good thing it's a VHS tape, and I can rewind if I need to see any of the hot tips again. Whoop, 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 whoop. Donkey Kong fucks. <laughs> <laughs>
inside Minecraft? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Between the frames. Yeah. You can find it. <laughs> it's there! Yeah, it was exactly one frame of Conky Dong. <laughs> Just a single frame spliced in. We'll, ne <laughs> we'll never tell where. I don't think really you have to tell them all that much. Once I think Smite got a poster really signed by David Wise, but they didn't have any of the yeah, games, games that David Wise actually yeah, worked on, but he did want a poster signed, so Smite has like <laughs> uh, a Donkey Kong Tropical <laughs> Freeze poster <laughs> signed by David Wise, who did not work on the music for Donkey Kong Tropical <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> it's awesome. That's yeah, David Wise was like fucking cool with it too. He just laughed. He's like, like Smite was like, sorry man, I didn't have any of the ones you worked on. He's like, ah, it's cool. This is funny. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> nice. Oh no, it was returns. It was returns. Smite has it signed or signed a poster returns. He did do Tropical Freeze. He didn't do returns. Smite has the returns poster signed by David Wise. That's what it is. So like the one country game he did not work on. Literally the only one. Correct. <laughs> Correct. I have, I have seen it in person. I saw it immediately after he got signed it. Smite was very excited for that poster. Also, I do like the flashes of not on Sega, not on Sega, not on Sega. <laughs> November 21st, 16 bits of Kong action. The day that will live on in anime. Thanks. I hate it. Just like hitting it up with Tarzan at the end, I guess. I guess. Tarzan, you, that noteworthy ape. Nintendo Power. All right. Well, here, I'm going to get the next one queued up here and get these annotations turned off. And I'm going to post it again in the Capes Museum. I don't know. Uh, this one's about 30 minutes. So I think this will be the last one I do for the day. But uh, I have seen this one before and can confirm it has. Some cool moments. <laughs> Some great ones. <laughs> if you want to just keep The graphic up. footage was like 15 seconds at the end of Killer Instinct. Oh, really? Ah, that yeah. would explain it. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and pause it like three seconds when you're ready. Also, goodbye, Taxidermy. I'll see you later. I love you. Bye. Oh, well, Taxi's back. Oh, wait, no, this uh, is weird. Yeah, no, I, I just dropped randomly. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize this video was going to be 13 minutes, so I am down for one. That's kind of what I was thinking. I also wasn't, I didn't know that, uh, the length of that one. So yeah, we'll throw up one more for sure. So are you ready for this is yes. Sega test 1996 Sega of America game tester training video? Yeah, as I'll ever be. Pause the two seconds or three seconds. Sorry, my bad. False alarm. All right. Three, two, one, Sega. That was Sonic. I know him. There he goes again. I thought, that was, I thought that was like a witch holding a scythe. Oh, I love that guy. No, he's a little blue hedgehog. What runs quick? Sonic! <laughs> Thank you for that contribution. <laughs> Strong agree. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, Stanley Cronenberg. <laughs> I do like that this opens looking like it's going to be like a BBC lighthearted documentary. Now we see the employees roll into the office in the morning as they do generally. Like it's just, it's got that set up. I will tell you that does not last for very long. <laughs> That's a short shift. I want to work seven to three until you learn it's 7 a.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is this the one where they have someone like standing in front of like a Dark Man cardboard cutout and like talking about Dark Man a whole bunch? I'm trying to remember. I think they have like some weird obsession with with some really bad game in this. And like they keep asking this dude like how much time he spent testing it, and he's just like, Oh, you know, I've played like probably like you know, six hundred hours of Dark Man. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> shh fuck. <laughs> Tester has to be someone who, who can be dispassionate about the game. Someone who's here to make video games better. One who goes inside the uh, depth of a game to find problems. Try weird things, try to find new bugs if possible. I'm going to dissect this game from beginning to end. Tester is a very unique individual. Someone... <clears throat> uh, 
in a broad sense who analyzes. I do I like, I like a lot that the people the were saying, like, you have to be dispassionate, you have to be able to separate yourself from it. Person wouldn't typically do and find out because you have to play the games that are real bad. But also, it has to be somebody. <laughs> oh, they absolutely did not pay to use the Beatles. Hell no, this is this is 90s time. This video uses a lot of great music that's going to get this video muted. You're looking to break it to find ways to make the game better. We have a very important job, no question about it. No questions about it. How many hours does a tester work? We've been known to pull 14 hour days. 80, 90 hours in a week. 40 hours a week. Past 24 hours. Or maybe 60, 65 hours a week. Uh, lowest 40 to about 65. It depends on, you know, what the department needs. Uh, sometimes it's 40, sometimes it's up to 50 What is up with this dude's hand, head? I was looking, I was trying. I don't know. Baseball. It's like, like he that. has an entire I, head on there, and then the hair just kind of grows out like weeds. Also, yeah, yeah. just, again, highlighting that one lady was like, yeah, I think I've been working for the last 24 hours. <laughs> and like, oh, oh geez. you know, just I, you think 70, 80 hours a week. Spawn Man! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna be thinking about fucking Spoon Man. Run your hand, run with your hand, Spoon Man. God damn it. How many testers are on the game and planning out the work that needs to be done, looking at the test plan. Again, it's really interesting that this is like a training video too, because it's like so discouraging. Like, I think the whole idea is they were making this tape like. No, really, this is gonna like really fucking suck, man. Like, you're gonna work non stop. We're not gonna pay you well. You have to do a ton of documentation. You might play a game that's awful. Where the problem areas are. Like, manages a bug database. Yeah, I really do think, which makes sense, because, right, because, like, at a time, at, at the time, like, this was a thing, it was everybody's dream, you know, like, I'm gonna be a game tester, you know, for, for kids, right? And, like, younger kids. So. Fuck. Yeah, I guess it's good that they pointed out, like, hey, this is gonna actually suck ass. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I mean, outside working on my own projects, like, I've, I did it because it was just easy to get the job. Mm -hmm. they, the place I worked, if you had a pulse, they gave you the job. Uh, yeah, I think three or four of my close friends are actually, actually either are or have worked as testers at different points for like four different companies I know of and it sounds better than it used to be <laughs> but maybe still not great sometimes it's fun sometimes it's tedious what's tedious about it uh, sometimes you have to check text um, sometimes you have to play a pico game which is made for a three to a five year old sometimes it sucks sometimes you get to play panzer dragoon Everyone who was or is a taste a tester a taster that's a different thing hates that tightening up the graphics commercial Oh, if I was a game tester that would absolutely be my favorite commercial I would I would literally <laughs> reference it whenever someone asked me what I do <laughs> I only fix the graphics on level three level three I don't even fix them myself. I just tell people to fix them Look at him fucking test that child's toy. Yeah, man, he's gotta fucking test that Pico, dog. <laughs> gotta test that Pico. Gotta gotta make they sure this. Hate these things. I mean, that's gotta be the really nice part, right? Is after you play it, you have to spend a bunch of time trying to fuck it up. Hey, dude, how many? Uh, <laughs> how many <laughs> just. Hey, how, how, have you finished your Pico work? No, man, only like a hundred hours in. I didn't know Sega had indentured servitude. Voluntary indentured servitude. I think it's very interesting. You've got uh, the marketing types, the sales types, the corporate types that have to interact with the creative types that are yeah people Should will figure it out now like i mean i think people are slowly picking up on that that's something that's like a maturity of industry thing where people start to get more knowledge and understand concepts like no really the bug testers in the qa team probably caught it 
It was just someone higher up decided we need to ship this today. We're not going to give you the money to fix it before we do that, right? Like, that's Sonic 06. It's a fucking dev nightmare story. Like, most of the time you can find one of those, right? Like, for games that are that broken and bad, you can figure out why. Like, uh, Drake of the 99 Dragons was what? It was made in, like, five months, I think, for the original Xbox before, like, really nice dev kits and engine stuff. So, like, it's a night. The fact that game exists is incredible. It's horrible, but it's incredible that it exists, even. There's always a way to interact. And this sucks. Well, I think that's we have enough breaks, says uh, man, working like 16 hours a fucking day. Uh, <laughs> I've reached a dead end of the game. I'll go oh. into some of the okay. Sorry. There's a friend of mine that's playing it as well and talk to him. And, you know, you can chat with him, hang out, and then find out, you know, maybe what. Sorry. Uh, uh, see if we can get some hints from him. The thing is, he's literally just describing boring ass office life. Like, that's all, that's always what it is, right? It's just like, yeah, if you can't deal with your work anymore, you can go talk to another human being and hope that there's one that's decent enough in your office that you're willing to go back to doing that work for a little bit. Ugh. My testing job was like, I got sat down next to a guy, like, you know the song that fucking children sing that's I Know a Song That Gets on Everybody's Nerves? Yes, correct. Imagine uh, someone in their early 20s right next to you, like, doing that constantly. When I was test manager, I look for people who are smart. Um, and have what is he game? Um, it's a crazy position that requires a lot of skills. A special kind of pain. It requires a lot of skills. Endurance. Well, it's also important when you're writing comments, things like that. You see it. Think about the Terminator opening. <laughs> Just think about that sting. Good movie. Oh man, that guy actually gets to test the good shit. Yeah, that would actually rule the test. God, the, the music choices. Video. The music choices in this <laughs> fucking video are all kick ass. No, oh, he's loose! I mean. I like that he rolled with the console that wasn't plugged into anything. Like, he was gonna fool us. Like, well, obviously I can't just roll with the guns. You gotta be able to get into that consumer mode and act how they're gonna act. Once they go, they go to the store. Consumer money, mode. Buy the game. And then, they, you know, they want to have some fun with it. They want to get something out of it. So you really have to have that fun aspect, too. Tenacity. Here's where the graphic comp that actually comes up. This is stealing my soul very slowly. Blinkies, producers will come down. <laughs> Beep boop initiating consumer mode. Hey, and speaking of consumer mode, if you're consuming this content but with your eyes and ear holes, consider dropping a follow for your boy. That would be sick. I would appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to, subscribe. That's the only reason I can, like, live and shit, so that's cool. And I have a Patreon if you want to, like, Hang out in the patron channels where occasionally I'll just post stupid shit like this <laughs> sometimes. As well as talk about video games, Monster Hunter, DBFZ, you know, all of it. Cards. Uh, poker. No, we don't have a poker channel. Not yet. It's pretty rad, actually. <laughs> Tenacity. From the Latin for of ten asses. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, I forgot about the US launch Saturn controller. There have been some incredible... Also, whoa, did you see the test cart for that fucking Game Gear? It was fucking huge. It was huge! It was like the size of like a fucking Super Nintendo. That was awesome. Yo, Mini Matt, what up? We're watching uh, some important strategy game tapes. I'm sad you missed the Street Fighter Super Turbo tips. I think you would have really liked them. I think you also would have liked... Uh, Donkey Kong Exposed, or some of the other tips. What was the first one we watched? I'm like forgetting it already. The one with Video James? Oh, God, I it's name. Game oh, Pro it was the really Game Pro Game, Pro. Game Tips something video. Oh, that one was awesome. It, it was like all codes, though. Like, all the way down. Like, half of it was like, here's a tip, just put in a code and skip to the end of the game. It's like, okay, that's less of a tip, though, and more of just your cheating. 
Game Pro Password Squad. But this is a training video, so in case occasionally they are actually. Tupac showing lives. You. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, like, see, they're even talking about their bug classification, which I feel like three tiers is maybe not enough, but you know, whatever. Oh man, look at that old ass OS. Shit, that screen, that's got some resolution. I, I bet there's not even 600 on there. I wonder if there's 800. Wow. World Series BB. Hey, guess what? what? No, game crash. No. Yes. Oh, my, what? What happened? Yeah, sorry. I only main uh, A tier bugs. <laughs> I know. Never use them. I like how I'm to fight for it, so I just go for the B tier bugs. I don't think I realized how much fucking Whoa. people involved it. Is that a fidget spinner? <laughs> Primitive fidget spinner? All right. That is an old school fidget spinner, correct, yeah. You did like a no, double tank. No, <laughs> did you know that they trapped all CPU error events to the level select? I believe that was Sonic 3D Blast that did that. Um, which was awesome, yeah, because if you slightly unseated the cart, like if you wiggled the cart, it would do a partial disconnect, and so it would kick up an error flag, and it would just kick you to the level select. So just by chance of the guy basically coding in, because like, the whole thing is, if during testing the game ever crashed, it immediately was like failed and kicked out, and you wouldn't get back. Um, like, you, they would just be like, nope, you need to do the submission process all over again. So what this guy did, because the game crashed at weird times, and he couldn't figure it out. Like, it was rare, but it would crash, and Sega would have, like, kicked him back for that. So he just programmed in a thing that if there ever was an error handler flag generated, just immediately go to level select. So, no, it wasn't a game crashing bug, you just found a special secret just for you. <laughs> Which I love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're talking about, mouse set. Yeah, so you could just punch the console and it would kick an error flag and it would give you the level select. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> it's fucking genius. It's so smart. It's such a smart programming choice. Didn't, uh, uh, Link's Awakening, or not Link's Awakening, Link to the Past do like a similar thing? Maybe. I believe it. Again, breaks weird. Yeah, the downside is you have to play Sonic 3D Blast. Truth. The Chris Houlihan room. The Chris Houlihan room was both deliberately put in there, but it is also a fault fail safe of you're yeah. trying to wrong warp in, you end up in the Chris Houlihan room. <laughs> you end up in Chris's place. He talks to you. It's an intentional way of how to get into the Chris Houlihan room and then a bunch of ways that aren't supposed to go anywhere, so they put you there instead. Uh, it's basically just a bribe. <laughs> The Chris Houlihan room, Concordat, was a room put into Legend of Zelda Link to the Past uh, by put in there for a, like, winner of a... It like, was a Nintendo like, Power Contest. Nintendo Power yeah, there was contest? like a Nintendo yeah. Power Contest or something, and Chris Houlihan won, so they had to put him in Link to the Past in some way. So yeah, they just named the error handling room, like the crash room. It has... It yeah. says something about Chris Houlihan in it. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Yep. It's me, Steve. And the way you're supposed to intentionally get it involves going like around the castle twice or something like that. You have to do it in a specific amount of time. But hey. I mean, for what it's worth, there's still really interesting crash and overflow handling to this day. Like, Breath of the Wild has an amazing one. Don't forget that. Like, Breath that's just the Blood, that's Blood Moon. Yeah. Moon. Yeah, Blood Moon is just it, it overflowed for some reason, or like there's too many objects stored in memory or something, so it has to wipe it and reset everything back to neutral. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. What? That yeah, is yeah. one of the reasons why it doesn't hard from adversity. Yep, there are a few. A yeah, there's a few reasons it does. It is also a timer. Yeah, when it first released, there was a bug uh, that would make the game register as like being overloaded, like every 20 or 30 minutes at release. And some people got it. Like uh, PA Master uh, Emily, she got it, and it was really frustrating because she was like, "Yeah, it's like every single, like every 30 minutes, it does a blood moon and everything resets." I'm like, "It's not supposed to do that that much." And it turns out, yeah, it's just because that's their. If they have a, a, like a flag and they're not sure how to handle it, it'll just say reset everything, fuck it, and just do a blood moon. That's actually incredibly smart. Yep. yep. Uh, awesome. Soon to be designers, producers, uh, karate guys running around in the parking lot. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> By the way, wasn't joking. God bless them. 
Hey everybody, let's do fucking kung fu in the parking lot. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's what I found here is everybody around here gets Yeah, like these dudes are easily the best guys. Nice. Hell yeah! Hell yes! There's a lot of competition, you know. I want this dude to show me all his favorite moves. Trash talkers out there. But uh, you know, you try to hold your own on dad. It looks like they're having fun with themselves at least. <laughs> That's extremely a guy related to Marky Mark. <laughs> God. Yeah, they're exactly. Right. They're trying to sell benefits of the job to like pull people back in, but then yeah, oops, there actually fucking aren't any. <laughs> exactly. Your Whoops. your benefits are we'll let you stop working for 10 minutes sometimes, I guess. <laughs> if, if, uh, we'll we'll think about it. We'll, I'll need to check with my manager if we can let you stop ever to breathe. Ah, that's the data. I found it. Wow. Wow, all this data. Let me seat this data. Beep, boop, boop, beep. Look at all these datums being processed so hard. Beep, boop, boop, numbers. Yeah. Beep, boop, boop. Other numbers. Beep, boop. Man, just hacking each and every one of these Gibsons up. <laughs> Benefits, synthesis, broom, moonshine in the back room to supplement your income. Fuck, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll let you have a still. It's only fair. Yeah you're, yeah, you're allowed to buy and bring in your own still. We will not provide it, but we will not stop you. <coughs> Just tossing video games to everybody. <laughs> yeah, the benefits are being in a sick promotional videos where you do karate in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that's the main yeah. ones. Oh! That's a baseball! God forbid we don't... Rag rag on! ...and release a product that there's something beautiful about him spend him talking endlessly about Spending too much money on promotion and stuff in a video where they literally ever talk about Dark Man. <laughs> Bugs used to be crippling things that games could not launch with or they would ruin the sales and like usability of the game at all. Yeah, bugs were real nasty back in the day when you couldn't like, you know, fix them in post. It falls on the lead shoulders. Nowadays, we can patch those and alternatively, apparently some people like, in general, people care less about bugs than they used to. Also, yeah, the way they handled those chips sucked. <laughs> I just looked out, I was like, ah. Hmm. You know, when you're going out and spending 60, 70 bucks on a game, if it, if it has problems, if it has crashes, you're going to be really pissed off. I don't know. Honestly, uh, the only ones I've seen that, like, feel like the testing wasn't even done yet. Um, Cause like, you know, people would crack about Fallout being buggy and shit, and obviously it is, and they need to fucking work on it, but um, it's not like alpha state at any point. I think the only one that I've seen recently like that was Radical Heights, and that's literally because they were releasing it to try and keep their doors from closing. It was not finished enough to do this. They have now closed, <laughs> but yeah, it was the idea. Yeah, it was after the Lawbreakers tank. They were like, shit, we need to do something. You, you have to make something with literally any personality at all. And I mean, you tried, but See tried again. too late. Good news today. Yeah. Bugs fixed. We're going to release. Also, man, way. fucking. It'll be a, it'll be a go. Oh, right. Jumping into the battle royale Bye. genre, too. Bye. Very good idea. Mini Matt, if you think the looping butt rock in the back in this background is driving you nuts, you should have been here earlier when some motherfucker was using a fucking turbo controller nonstop oh. to pause no, and no, unpause the game. Slow mo controller. Yeah, slow mo controller to just repeatedly pause and unpause the game, and every time he did it, it was like beep. So it was just like beep, 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 beep for like ten minutes. And uh, that, of course, is uh, a very important. Yeah, Amagon on slow mo. Able to have a way of moving people into other parts of the company, or someone might move from test into marketing. You know, I 
think we have a number of people. Man, Dire Straits had some had some riffs. Area who really went to school to become marketing people, and there, there weren't any job openings in, uh, in video game marketing, so they went into test. <laughs> God damn it! Now everyone's gonna start typing lyrics in chat, and I'm gonna have to like sit here re really resisting the urge. <laughs> to just be like, we gotta move these refrigerators. Like, uh, god damn it. But we also have to have it in the. In the uh, that, I'll Jesus. never tire of that video. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that video is incredible. That video is up there with Californication for like my favorite really bad CG <laughs> music video. As soon as I started working here, I just got rid of all that. Yeah, benefit if you're good you enough at testing, you can, do, you can do something else. What's up? I'm here in the department. Uh, you get money for nothing in here? We do. We're about five minutes from the I'd end. Like to, but yes. Oh, man. If you want to count in, I can uh, give you one in a sec. Man. I want to get Sega, I guess. Here I go, hot 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 I need some oven mitts to handle this shit. Uh, we'll hit 2330 in five seconds if you can do it. Three, two, one, 2330. Close enough? Games are going to become much broader. Our views, the games are going to become much broader. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Who were probably in the early days back in the was the world's first successful YouTube Halo jump. True. 16 years old. Well, of course, we predict guys, that in the next 20 uh, years, as many as seven women will play games. Fuck! Still obviously have a strong college age audience, a strong teenage audience, uh, and now we've developed a strong uh, child and kid audience. A child and kid audience. Oh, just, just Nirvana. Just gonna drop it. Just gonna drop the Nirvana right on the floor. Sure, fuck it. Whatever. No one cares. Give me your money. <laughs> Yo! Communism Thrills! Thank you for the resub. And also, Blagronius Monk, thank you for the resub. I forgot to say sorry, because I, I am really a trash know, man. I really like it. It's a really good Video opinion. games? Yeah. They'll never catch on. Who's interested in music, <laughs> no one's ever going to get these video game things. They're bullshit. Yeah, and they actually intermix very, very so it's a, it's a really good place. I think a lot of people walk away from Sega um, as this is one of their best jobs. We work really hard, and, but at the same time, we have a ton of fun. That's called Stockholm Syndrome. My example <laughs> was Eternal Champions, and I think in two weeks I worked 188 hours. And it kind of drove me into the ground, being here, coming in at noon and leaving at 3. Also, I already have found who I am hosting because they are playing the Game of Kings, and I hope they don't say anything super racist or anything. That would be a bummer, but you just can't know, right? That dude said that he worked across two weeks, 188 hours. Good lord. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, how do you do that, by the way? That's what, 90... I mean, you can. Yeah, I mean, yeah, legally, you could, according to the laws of space and time. Yeah, that's yeah. 13 hours a day, seven days in the week. Yeah, so I mean, maybe had one day off across all that, so increase like all this to 16 hours a day. Oh, God, I for a second, I thought they were starting into No Surprises, which would have been the best ending song of this video. <laughs> If it was fucking no surprise, if it was a song all about how cool it is to kill yourself, that would be such a good fucking ending for this. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I thought they were going to go into it. Um, uh, that's, a, that's a good question, Stanley. Um, oh my god. That would be incredible. Yeah, this video is goddamn brutal to watch if we can uh, just be uh, super real. Uh, it's like, man, this is uh, an not a great way. Oh, apparently it decided to pull out the wrong like thing. The Let me fix that. Like Sorry. That's Hakuno no Ken. That's a different thing. This guy like. And the other audio in the background is so another fucking uh, like conversation. Yeah, it's really weird. All right, again. shit. Well, hey everybody, thanks for fucking hanging out. If you aren't already following, please do. If you aren't already following. 
uh, M underscore D underscore C underscore T on Twitch and A underscore Raving underscore Loon on Twitch. You should do that, son of Bozu. Are, are you anywhere on Twitch or Twitter? What do you no! Want what do you want to do? Son of Bozu, are you real? I'm at Mr. Son of Bozu on Twitter. I don't know. Fuck it. Okay, cool. Would you like to plug your games and shit? I mean, that's a thing you could do yeah. right now in front of 300 something people. Go nuts. Go, 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 go. Black Mesa. Black Mesa, bye. Do it, buy it. You should now. play. You should play and buy Black Mesa, and then also another game when it comes out that I don't know what I'm, I'm allowed to talk about, so I'm not going to say anything. I don't, I'm talking, yeah, you'll see it. You'll know when you see it. You'll, How about Taxi? We're going to stream it as a team. Also, yeah, Taxiderby, who left, but also follow Taxiderby on I, Twitch. I'm right here. Oh wait, Taxiderby didn't leave. Right, <laughs> shit. The tapes were. The timing was wrong. Well, great. Taxiderby, plug your shit, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, fuck. I'm making a Kirby Kloa-esque uh, 2.5D game, so. uh, and it's broken right now, but I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really inspiring pitch for your game. It's broken right now, but, like, I'm working on it. No, <laughs> follow no, text. No, I've been working hard on it. I'm just having some problems. Taxiderby. Shaders. Ta yeah, Taxiderby's having some unity issues, but whatever. That's life. That's part of it. Uh, Loon, would you like to plug your shit proper style? No. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, cool. So that's everybody, I think, because that was... Uh, Tupac not... lives! <laughs> okay, cool. That's another really good plug for Tupac. <laughs> Shout out to Christina Applegate. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just... Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna host... Uh, I'm gonna host this person who's playing Pokemon Puzzle League, which is the Game of Kings. Uh, and, uh, the raid message is just... Uh... Hmm. Tupac lives. Yeah, it's just Tupac lives. Just post Tupac lives once exactly. <laughs>